and gentlemen, and welcome to today's edition of the Cloister of the Dice. Today, we officially begin our new journey in the world of Sword World. So expect things to get a little fun around here. It's going to be exciting. Of course, I'm your MC. I'm John. Of course, we're joined by our crew, our DM Mills of the Monk, along with Akira Coops, Kit Lady K, Nefinor for all, Slick Rick, and of course, Zedatrix Zadari. Folks, how are we all doing today? It is a good day. And his microphone shit out again. <laughs> this is the well, second I... time today, and uh, it sounds like it's killing <laughs> Lady K again. Yeah, but only because it's it reminded her what happened the before time. the show. Mm. Uh, remind me again. Well. How many? It was, how many? It was five total. No, I counted. Six. six. You did one more. Yeah. It was six. After the fact, it was six total. Yeah, only because you guys egged me on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we do it out of love. You do it so you can laugh even harder at me. Fair. I mean, she's not wrong, but that's beside hey, the point. Hey, 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 sadism is a form of love. Come on now. <laughs> remember, this, re remember, the safe word is bleach. <laughs> I thought it was uh, Jenga. Different convention. We don't talk about Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> At least I talking about the Geneva Convention, that's something I'm violating around here. We're we're Geneva also not suggestions. It's much like it's much like how I can't tell any of the Rapongi stories, otherwise I'd get kicked. <laughs> we just need Trent stays. Don't worry, we just need Trent Beretta or Rocky Romero and we'll be good. They're not gonna. <laughs> do you want? Do you want us to? Do you want us to get in trouble? Because that's what had happened. But yes, after after a few after a few delays and a few surpri a few surprises, uh, we are finally getting st getting started with the with our adventures into the world of Tur the world of Raxia. And after our after our little endeavor when it came to when it came to character creation, which invo which um involved me on the back end trying to make a short list of ev of everybody's spells and effects, which was a bit l and some of the feats, which was a bit lengthier than I would have liked. As she called us earlier, a bunch of nerds, except for me. Mm -hmm. But we are we are finally get we are finally getting right to it. Of course, we have of course for a refresher we have um, Lady K playing Alicia Rutherford, who is our, who is I guess our relevant rabbit kid since she's the youngest of the party. Well, hi. You did it. You did it. Technically speaking. Oh. I'm not muted. Our sh our shadow in the form of Arya. All right, hold Played on. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we hear you now. Yeah, we hear you now. Okay, then my cut out my cut out for a second because I wasn't muted. Sorry, Monk. No worries. Oh, we have Zan playing our shadow Arya. Well, shadow nightmare. Mm -hmm. Yep. We have we have John playing at playing Azral our. Re our, ma our magitactician. The commander with a one, with a one, with a one man army. Mm -hmm. We have we have Akira Coots playing Daxter, our fa our fairy alchemist. It's time for some card games with fairy magic. <laughs> oh, go talk to Jax Daxter. We have Slick Rick playing Garu, our our resident, um, <laughs> our resident wolf boy biker. <laughs> oh, and we have Nefinor playing Isab playing Isabeau, our re our resident Magitech sniper. Right between the eyes. So. 
you all have you all have um set have start have started this particular affair. None of you I know a lot of people will do the oh you've been friends for years. That is not the case. You all just happen to be traveling on the same ship. That ship being the Al being um Alfheim's Hope, which is which is a trading liner that's heading from Darlisburg to Har to um Harves. Going from the Terrastia continent to Alfheim. And as far as why why Harves, Harves is the capital city of the Burlite region, which is in the southwestern part of Alfheim, right here. Mm. Makes sense. Oh. Oh, fuck me. Mm -hmm. That's against TOS. Only after the stream, Lady K. Isaiah, we can't do that right now, hon. We're live. I was being facetious, you pricks. But that's the nicest is... thing you've co anyone has called us all day. You know, first she says "fuck her," then she calls us all pricks. What is this mixed messaging? <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, the the route between the between where you're leaving from and where you're going is an eastward route. Um, you guys are going to be crossing the Alesta Sea, the Alesta Sea, and pa as well as passing by a couple, a couple places, the Holy Kingdom of Sophilia and Spindolus, which is a port city in the Morlock region. Then going across the Equatorial Zone before heading northward across the open sea. This is a long. This is a long voyage, which is why it was one. Normally, normally an expensive affair to go into, and two, this is a case of you get you guys are leaving um, Terastier, and you're you don't see yourself coming back anytime soon for one reason or another, since the voyage from the voyage between continents, if you're lucky, a month; Oof. if you're less lucky, two months. Yikes. Okay, let me make sure, let me see if I can actually do this. Because what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do is is oh is move you is move you guys. It is not co it is not cooperating. Use a bigger hammer. So That means I am go Okay, there we go. I'm going to have to f I'm later on I'm going to have to figure out a way to do that a little bit more efficiently. But let me zoom, zoom to fit the if you zoom out the image that you should see is the approximation i'm using for the alfheim's for the Alf, the alfheim's hope that is the ship you you all have boarded okay um this is <laughs> this ship has the mark of the harv shipping company as you see when you go when you go on the thing there's three there are three classes of rooms. There's first class, which co which costs twelve thousand gamel. Second class is double occupancy for each room, and though and that is six thousand gamel. Third class is a large room with for a bunch of people at once, and that is three thousand gamel per person. 
which is includes the boarding f the boarding fee along with f along with um food and the like during the voyage because you know you're gonna be on this thing for a month to two months. Now, as you, as you all want, now, f as far as how you're able to get on, well, being it being advent being adventurers certainly certainly helped. You were able to take what was effectively guard duty on the boat on the boat. It just means that you don't have to do um, payment. Or rather, you're able to do you're able to do it at a reduced rate. And um, Garu, unfortunately, your your old bike you had you had to sell that off. Yeah. Took one too many fire spells to to it. I'm fine with it. Well, that that was that was how you were able to get on get on the boat was by was by selling it off. Um, as you, though there are there are a few other folks that you do that you do see. One of one of them is the one of them is what look what. Looks like a looks like an a elven adventurer who's got a got a few years on on them, but is young by elf standards, and has an has an image of a white spear on his jacket, uh, which would indicate that that's his particular uh, particular adventuring group. There's a few others with that with that same emblem. A, a young woman who looks who looks to be wearing the garb of a priest of Lythos. A, a um, gunner and a and a full on a full on knight and a sorcerer. At least from their appearances, that's the vibe you end up getting. There's oh. There's also you also see among the various passengers a a minstrel. And of and of course the cap of course the captain at the front who looks a, looks a bit ner looks a bit nervous and is is though it's more caution than nervousness. But while you, while you while you are filtering into the place, I'd like I'd like you all to think about an answer. What is the what is the reason why you're making this journey? Because this is not a this is not a journey that you do as a fly by night. So I'll I'll start with Alicia. Why are you why are you making the journey between continents? Can you give me a second? I just took a nibble. <laughs> Bad timing. Bad timing. <laughs> Sounds like a rabbit to me. <laughs> oh, are, are you sure that sounds like a rabbit to you? What sounds like a rabbit to me is a vicious killer that can only be taken by the holy hand grenade. <laughs> <laughs> Three, sir! One, two, five! Three, sir! Three! <laughs> I need to rewatch that. Same. Oh. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so, in Alicia's case, she's going out on she's going out into the world be, to see it for starters, and uh, because she was told a lot that she was too little to do so. So fuck everyone else. Oh, <laughs> uh, fair. What about what about Arya? <clears throat> Arya's already adventured all through Terastier, and she hasn't been able to spread her name. Now it's time to go somewhere new and reach higher heights. 
and Azrael? As, as I found myself to become a warrior, I've decided that my calling is, seek, is, is being answered elsewhere. Thus, I seek to find out how strong I truly am and how strong I can truly be. Oh, Daxter? As one who's been interested in fairies ever since childhood, I decided to not only travel the world, but also meet new fairies and actually befriend them. And hopefully they will help out with my research. Oh, Garu? Keeping an old promise requires that I keep that requires that I travel around a bit. This is just helping out with that. Yep. And Isabeau? Searching for my old master, whether he be alive or whether it's his descendants. Mm -hmm. But eventually, you you end up you end up shuffling off into the room that you'll be using. It's a decent sized one. It's base it's basically the kind of multi room setup you'd see at certain inns, since it. Under any other circumstance, you might prefer having your own rooms, but that's the price to pay for getting a discounted rate. So as so as you're as you're going in, you do see that yeah, you're going to be staying in the, you're all going to be staying in the same um, room th throughout the journey. The but as you do, as you do. You end up com you end up coming across someone el someone else uh, a a man who's constantly w who has a bandage on his on his head to conceal his face uh, and whenever sometimes pe sometimes he'll he'll be asked why he's got the bandage and he and he'll simply say I was badly injured. So as you all get as you all get settled into the ship, what do you get? What do you do as as the ship is heading off? For now, I'm, For now, just, I'm just sitting back, sitting and, back and reading uh, reading, uh, reading, some reading some more books that I brought, that I brought along with me up. to study up. Mm -hmm. Any pr any particular topic to note, or just a general knowledge? Well, probably mostly just knowledge of the uh, of the land of the land we're heading to to get an idea, get a lay of the land, and figure out uh, where I should be going. Mm -hmm. But after after a bit after a bit, you are you're you are brought out by by some of the staff members on the ship. Because technically speaking, you got the re you all got the reduced rate, but at the but the price for that is you're you're doing guard duty. So it's so you have to do patrol routes. All right. So who's teamed up with who? Each of each of you is teamed up with a with a senior member, though though um some though. So, though for for some, it means that it means that they have to <laughs> they have to help out with other duties. Um, and to that end, so if, if, on one hand, on on one hand, the good. Alicia is helping out in the kitchen. The mm. downside is it's on, it one it's on wash duty. Two, um, you had to set you had to set up a stool. Nobody likes to smell a wet rabbit. <laughs> which is why ever which is why everybody's keeping their distance. <laughs> Alicia returns to the barracks, glares at everyone. Don't say a word. And she grabs her towel and stalks off to the washroom. 
Mm -mm. Uh, obviously, uh, um, the the rest are do the rest are doing patrol. Um, Isabeau, it because of her because of her um si because of her sight is up on the crow's nest. And I can see why kids mm. love cinnamon toast crunch. God <laughs> <laughs> damn it! <laughs> but uh. Arya, but um. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> hmm. I was trying to but. put the container of uh, lemon ups back in its plastic, but it wasn't wanting to go, and it ripped all the way through. But while this is go while this is going on, Gar Garu is, it is Garu. You are going through first class, um, first class, <laughs> at, in a patrol setup, and you do, you do see that same that same guy who was ba who was bandaged up um, earlier, just pa mm. just passing by. As you're passing by. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> so you have you have the opportunity to to take a closer look at what's going on with him, or hmm. um, or keep or keep going. I don't want to do just that. All right. So with that with that in mind, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna need you to roll to make a op make a observation roll. Um, which one do I roll for that? Observation. Yeah. It's below your modifiers. There's four items there. You can click on it. Mm -hmm. Two HP. Should see technique, movement, observation, and knowledge there on the bottom right corner. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're on page one. Okay, that's the one that helps. So observation. Yeah. Yeah. You you managed to just make it. Um, you do see you do see oddly enough that um from from the bandage that's covering his the bandage is covering his face you see fangs slightly peeking out. Garu is is looking around is bopping his head to a beat in his inside and. Is seemingly humming. He he it, he sees this, but given the his given the history he has with some with others, he's just going to be quiet about it for the time being. But he's going to make sure this passenger is within his line of sight. Mm -hmm. Oh. So with that, with that in with that in mind, since you're do, since you're doing that, I want you to also roll um, knowledge. Was there a check on? Ooh. Oof! Ouch! So we, you did you did note that there were some that there were some books related to stars, but as far as anything for, as far as any further details, you have no you have no clue. Yeah. Uh. But as you, but you also. He, as you leave, you you end up here. You end up hearing him talking of talking about the starry st starry sky at the equator. Hmm. And 
eventually, mm -hmm. eventually at the end at the end of the shift, you all end up re you all end up reconnecting at the at the um, barracks that you guys are sleeping in. So, anyone find anything interesting? Sadly, no. I was hoping for a little action today, but it seems I'm going to be missing out. If you want, I can. I can if you want, we can spar later. <laughs> I might take you up on that. There's no greatness to be had by fighting the people here. This isn't a fight. It is sparring. There's a difference. This is to keep our skills in check, so when it actually is time, we will be I ready. I wasn't talking about fighting you. I'm talking about the passengers. There's nobody here that can offer us a great challenge. Mm -hmm. We'd just be wasting our time. Uh, it's still good to keep an eye out. You never know what surprises someone has in store. Agreed, but... Uh... An uneventful journey is preferable. Mm -mm. <laughs> I doubt we're going to get that, considering I heard, overheard someone talking about uh, the night sky and the equator. Mm, sounds like someone has something planned. It might be wise to keep an eye on them. They were in first... Obviously. It was a bandaged individual in first class. Could tell there were some fangs on him. Oh. You, as you're talking about this, you do hear someone someone say, "Y'all are too y'all are too paranoid." He's he's probably talking about the Equator Festival. Oh, the, sa the sailor explaining that there there's a bit of a tr there's a bit of a tradition among ships of holding a festival when the when a ship crosses the equator. Um, it's. It's mainly there. It's mainly there to do a ceremony to the get to um, the goddess Harula. Hmm. Harula Fuck. being the goddess of forgiveness and blessings, one of the goddesses of the first sword. Oh, she's she's also. She's also associated with the North Star. Uh, for sailors, that makes sense, actually. I was about to say, someone talking about stars aboard a boat is like finding sand on a beach. <laughs> yes. But after a, after a few after a few days, the ceremony does end up happening, which is a it is a decent sized celebration since there's a good amount of people on the ship. A lot of the day, a lot obviously I'm skimming through a lot of the days because there's it's an, it's not the most eventful. But you end up get you end up getting a fair bit of of food and wine and spe and getting to meet up with the leader of the White Spear group who introduces themselves as Silas. Hmm. Um But in the but the in the aftermath of of the oh. festival, um, I'd those of those of you who decided to take a look at the night sky do see do see John on the deck. And I should I should note John as far as the care the person that you saw who I'm referring to as John Smith for the time being. Because if I called him Jiro Yamada, only one of you would get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, almost immediately, everyone at the table turns to look at Zan. That was obvious. Mm -hmm. Before we all return back, return from breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. But you do see, you do see. You do see John um, gazing at gazing at the stars on the on the deck while he is assuming no one's looking. 
and you also see him taking taking off his his bandages. Which you you note know some you note know something odd about about his face, but no, but for that, for anyone who wants to um, see if they can ascertain what it is, roll monster knowledge. People with sage will have monster knowledge. Otherwise, no. I, I have sage. Where's where's the thing for it? Page two. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, there it is. It is. I see it. I see it. Go. Oh. Oh. Let's see. Page two. Page right two. Top. Right at the top. If you have levels, in... wow. Damn. Woot boot. Good job, Good job dear. Yeah. By the way, I don't know what you all were bitching about. At least you didn't get dunked in the damn sink and use as a Sprillo pad. <laughs> What's that? Oh, gotta have a use for those ears. Those are for drying, not for washing. So. Alicia, you, d Alicia, when you s when you see, um, J when you see John, no, not that one. I have to, <laughs> I have to <laughs> um, the the odd thing that you s the odd thing that you see is the fact that he his body's hu his body is obviously sta obviously standard ass human, but he has the face of an ogre, like literally. The face of an ogre. Not saying he, not not in the oh he's hideously ugly. No, his face doesn't match. The fuck? I mean, obviously everyone else can see that his face is somehow monstrous. They just don't know of what. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me he's not Shrek? <laughs> he's got layers. On suspicion of being barbarous, uh, Arya actually uh, leaps forward, drawing her falchion. Why are you here? How could you possibly be here? Every ship has a way to detect a barbarous. I implore that you keep my secret. My name is Carlo Brook, and I've been cursed. As much as I love stargazing, it's brought me nothing but misfortune. On one of my travels to gaze at the stars, I obtained a cursed item that's left me disfigured and scarred. I tried to rid myself of this cursed item by disposing of it at a temple, and even sought the help of a high priest who cast the removal of curses on me. But the curse would not be lifted, and since then I've been wandering the land seeking a way to break the curse. My father is an executive at Harv's Shipping, and he sends me money to help me survive. But due to his possible poor public image, he has instructed me not to return home until the curse is lifted. It would kill me if anyone found out about my curse, and the thought of being ridiculed and ostracized is too much to bear. I beg of you, keep my secret safe. Okay. At, at which you see you see him put his bandages back on and leave. Of course. At that point, Arya resheats her falchion. She's in deep thought about this whole thing, especially since this person seems to uh, at least share being an outcast in their own home. Much as every nightmare is an outcast. Of course, Azrael's just sitting there and thought, you know, thinking, well, they didn't attack us, so they could have easily done so, but they knew they were surrounded too. Go just wondering... looks. Sorry, sorry. Go on ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Gar just looks on with an uncaring look, but if you, but with a slight bit, bit of empathy and sympathy, like he anyway knows what's going on, or has at least had experience with it. 
But after you, the next day after the festival and after this revelation, you and you ended up you ended up having to be confined to your quarters for because of a storm that you that you ended up going through, which look the storm ended, ended up lasting several days, and I I can imagine some I can imagine um. Some of you taking to it a little, a little bit easier than others. Wet bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I'd imagine Alicia is having a very, has a very st strong policy of I am not leaving. The, I am not leaving the room until the storm passes. You bet your ass I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, out of character. When do we have Ruby Rose here? <laughs> 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 Alicia is a uh, is markedly better than Ruby Rose. Why would you uh, uh, insult Alicia that way? I don't know who the fuck Ruby Rose is, but fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sorry, like just similar <laughs> tone with, between the two characters. Yeah. But the storm ends up lasting for se for several days. Some of the, some of the passengers ha having to um, having having to having to use a bag. If you catch my drift. <laughs> Look, everybody. Chamber, pot e chamber pots should be pretty common on a ship, and you just throw them out the portholes mm -hmm. or a bucket. That's what a chamber like pot I said, a chamber pot. If, Look, anybody who's been out to anybody who's been out to sea knows knows about the knows about dealing with that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm glad I don't get seasick. I, 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 I've gone, I, I think only at its at its worst I've gotten mild, like lightly queasy, but nothing severe. Now it's on a really like rough uh, patch. Mm -hmm. Never, like I've done I've done rafting and such, but I've never been out there like on boat, so I abstain. Mm -hmm. But as you as you can as you continue as you continue, oh, the you do overhear the the sailors complaining that the star that the stars look kind of weird look kind of weird since they got out of that storm, and because of the constellation arrangement, they have they've been having difficulty figuring out where they are. You're telling me the stars aren't right? But hmm. eventually you're eventually the a lot of you is summoned to the to the captain's quarters where he where he explains a lookout found a shipwreck on the reef. If it weren't for the shipwreck, we might not have noticed it. Close call that. As sailors, it's our duty to not leave a shipwreck unattended. We must rescue survivors and retrieve repair materials left to fix the hull. But the White Spear has the vital task of escorting our ship and cannot be separated from the boat carrying the passengers. That's where you come in. You can keep whatever you find in the wreckage except the items that are useful to the ship. Oh, well, I was looking for some adventure. It looks like I found some. Sorry, it cracks his knuckles. This is gonna be fine. You all get in the lifeboat and ha and have it dropped. Oh. <clears throat> hey, well, careful next time. <laughs> oh, and it does. It's. It doesn't take long to get to get to the wreck. It's a three. It's a three mast shipwreck. One that. One that's been clearly wedged between a, bu a bunch of reefs, and any anybody who's who's done any bit of sailing will know how dangerous reefs can be to a ship. Not mm -hmm. to mention to a ship that big, three mm -hmm. masts. Oh. And. Fortunately, we have a nice little map. A nice little map of the shipwreck. Uh, 
uh, before as we're pulling in, I, I I'll, I'll I'll mention we should check for any markings to get an idea of who ship who the ship belonged to. Might save us a few headaches and avoid a few troubles. Roll observation. Not very skilled in that. Yeah. It's everyone get to it. And we've got observation. Might be a good time to roll. Oh, that is the wrong window. First window, everybody. I don't have a, a class that uh, is skilled in observation. Hey! So, uh, and, again, and, again, and again, Lady K with a big roll. Well, smart Druid is smart. Mm -hmm. So, this for wins. this next section, I'm, get, I'm going to have to, you. You should be able to see the diagram of the shipwreck. If it's too small, um, click on the click, click on that little number over the over the zoom slider and hit zoom to fit. I think she already did that. I did. So, I'm going to be using a a um to a token for this. So here, here's hoping that this works as planned. Okay, that's a little bit, that's a little bit big. A little. There's, there's, there's already a token on the, on the map. Um, there is because I just put one there. No, there's two of them. At least that's what I'm seeing. I only see one. I only. Oh, that's fucked up on my end because I'm seeing two. And Shauna sees, sees it too. Move the token, Move the you've, token already you've already got, you'll and then you'll see there, there's, there's, there's a there second on one there on center deck. I think that might be on your end, because the only token I see is the one on center deck. Yeah, there was yeah, a little there was a little one, there. and there's a big one. Screenshot. Screenshot. Well, no, I I'm can't just... now, because he... I can. I can. I only see one. Yeah, right now I at least see move one. Your, move your move the token you can move. Move it out away from center deck. All right, now, All right, now. yeah, leave it right there and doop. Screenshot that. Screenshot that. This is what I'm seeing right now. I think one of those is a visual artifact because all of us are seeing the smaller token. Yeah. Yep. All right, I'm refreshing. Yeah, I didn't see. Yeah, I didn't see that on my end. The larger token is... It might be an artifact for when she hits uh, Stretch to Fit. Oh, it's uh, like I have Stretch to Fit right now, and I didn't have that second one. No, it was, no, it was there when it first loaded up for me, too. Oh. Oh. It's been there the whole time. I think that, that might be a, I think that might be a roll, tw a roll 20 bit of weirdness on your end, because... It's on both our ends because I've still got it and I refreshed. Yeah. 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 And because I'm not seeing it. Okay, and you nobody else sees it but you two. Thank you. And, yeah. Regardless, we're just go we're just going to um, power on through. Yeah. So <laughs> you. You do see, as I said, the ship is a is a three mast ship that was that was wedged. You you hook a rope to the edge and climb up to the center deck. Uh, and the, so where where you are, there's a hatch on the floor that opens and closes when loading and unloading cargo, but it's currently closed. Further back is the quarter deck, which is a level higher with a door in front of it. But you have you have the option of heading towards the bow, heading to heading towards the aft, or opening the hatch. But as you do, as you come to this area, you hear what sounds like a woman's voice coming from the um, bow. There may be a survivor. We should go there. Let's tread cautiously. We don't know what what they could what could be there. 
All right, I'll move you to near the bow. At the bow of the ship, you see a statue of Guiding Star Harula. As you arrive, the Im the a image of Harula descends upon the statue and begins to speak. Horrid wraiths are stirring in the hold of the ship. In the hold is a man like a stone who guards the most precious treasure. He will show you what you need to get out of these waters. While you are on this ship, I bless you. The image then vanishes and the statue becomes inanimate. But... <clears throat> um, each of you ha gains the effect of... of um, sacred weapon but only while you're on the shipwreck so are you going are you going to move, are you guys going to move to um sent move back to center deck mm -hmm. you can do here but that's helpful so yeah that's a good spot to call right. i would say like, where was it the the race supposed to be at? Probably here yeah. in here. Yeah. yeah. Maybe here. We gotta go to the hold to get to uh, who, to find whoever. Mm -hmm. Just to let everybody know, Sacred Weapon is um, makes it so that any melee or ranged attacks we make when attacking undead or barbarous characters uh, have a plus one bonus to accuracy and deal two additional physical damage. Um, additionally, the attacks are treated as if made with a magic weapon, but still deal physical damage, and that's important because a magic weapon is needed to hit, like, ethereal enemies. So I'm not going to be able to do much! Why not? Sacred weapon is cast on your wrestling weapons. Ooh. Including your hands and feet. <laughs> We all have sacred weapons so long as we're on the ship, so mm -hmm. if we encounter any ghosts, we can kill them. Yep. Mm. But so are you, are you gonna are you which are you gonna head to? The aft or are you gonna open the hatch? Uh, we all I would say let's go uh, in care. Uh, even though I really, really want to go down beat him up, we don't I don't know how much damage we're gonna to do to the ship. So let's check the at the very least the captain's quarters and figure out who figure out what's what what the ship was doing before we go down and potentially destroy that information. All right. So heading to the aft at the it's the aft of the ship obviously. And then and then heading to the door at the back which has no which has no key it's just it there's it's not locked or anything like that it's just a door which leads you to the captain's cabin the cabin is luxuriously decorated though the windows are broken and the rooms tattered due to the effects of nature but the cabin is not occup is not com is not completely unoccupied I don't like oh the sound of that. Guard gets gets us into a stance. Hmm. Are we making friends? Is this person like visible, or is, are they trying to hide? Oh, I'd say we're they're in Oh, they're visible. Because what because what is there is a white and oh, come on. Two three zombies. And for whatever reason the the mini isn't showing up how it's supposed to. They were showing up on our end. Yeah. We saw them, we saw them for a while. Yeah, we saw them for away. a second, then you took them off. 
Yeah, the ha what the um oh there. This is this is that roll. This is one of those quirks of roll twenty where the permissions w weren't showing up. Okay, what the hell? Why is? Oh, I ah, uh, roll twenty never change. No. no, I I know the I I know what the problem was. Wrong layer. Yeah, so it's yeah. partially my fault. <laughs> But yes. Put the token on the layer, monk. Done. Wrong layer. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Uh, the, the, as soon as that happens, Gar looks down. Uh... Well, well, I was looking for some action. I got... Before what? Before Alicia comes up. Why we? Why is there a lever there? <laughs> we didn't have that layer. <laughs> so, that... complete, with a, complete with an alligator, like an alligator hanging off one of her ears. <laughs> but you all got to oh. deal with the scent of wet rabbit now. So, hope you're happy. I'm not the one. Who's just... Maybe watch where you're stepping next Guys, time. Let monk continue. Guys, <laughs> rails. Okay. So for this and for future combats, I'm going to go down from top to bottom, and you're going to tell me um, front line or rear guard. Alicia? Rear. Aria? Line. Azrael? Uh, what... Rear. Rear. Daxter? Rear. Garu? Front. Isabeau? Rear. And you all are technically going to be rolling initiative, but nah, but um, this is not in the typical sense. This is to determine whether your side goes first. And you and because of th because of that you need to be you need to be the highest um initiative so if so for the purposes of this all of you roll initiative you go you get to go first if one of you matches 11 all right all right <laughs> well well that's it care of that it's well today already. All right, where's the initiative button at? Second page, top of the page. Okay. Yeah, I don't well, have an initiative modifier. Don't worry. Isabel already did it. <laughs> I was like, I was about to say, uh, do I have to? I already should with Isabel. Yeah, no, we 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 all have to so that we can determine internal uh, turn order on our own side. Mm -hmm. That's fair. So even if someone beats it in, in their first roll like Isabo did, we all still need to roll so that we know who takes what turn when. Well, Dax and I need to re-roll then. Yeah. To determine who goes uh, be be first between us. So yeah, right, let me. So you re-roll, re re monk. Um. About, <laughs> about that. It already it's determined. Already... It's already in there. Uh, there's one missing. Oh, let's see. I see Isabel, I see Azrael, I see Garu, I see Ara, and Dax, I see Alicia. Dax. All right. Oh, which is odd. So, da Dax, roll. He's rolled twice. Oh. The, the the turn order count is what's off. Yeah. So and I probably need to roll again then. No, I'm guessing that Monk needs to increase the count to six to allow your your results to even appear. Ah. Uh, um. 
And both of us rolled a five, but I haven't re-rolled yet. There isn't a um. That's that sort that sort of setup. That's not how the ter that's not how turn order works in Rule Twenty. So. Hmm. So ro roll again. Um, check initiative again. I want. I want to see. I want to see something. All, All right. of us. Mm hmm. Um, just um, da just Dax. All right. Uh... Okay, I have no idea. I have no idea why it showed up automatically for everyone else. Probably because we weren't trying to troll you before the stream. No, I think I think I know why. It might be because of. No Oh, it might be because of no proficiency. Which... No, that doesn't work either, because some of you don't have Scout. Could it be permissions? Because on his, um, on his token, we're not seeing the numbers for his, his uh, life and mana bars, and we're not seeing his name. You don't see his name played at all. That's fair, I don't see it either. Which... It, which um, doesn't make sense because that sh because it should have been there. This is this is the tricky this is the tricky thing with roll t with roll twenty all of the little permissions that have to be taken care of. So try one more time, and hopefully it works this time. Da -da, da -da -da. All right, suspension is killing me. Auto fail. He gets fifty experience. No, we're but... keeping that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Isabeau, you are you are fir you are first, and remember, everybody gets a major and minor action. Mm-hmm. All righty, that's uh, let's see. Start this off with. Uh... Casting solid bullet. Uh, where exactly do I do that? All right, so. If you're doing solid bullet, if you're doing solid bullet, you're get then um. You then you. Let me check. Let me um, make one little check. So you won't need to uh, do anything yet. You have to then shoot and hit, <laughs> mm -hmm. and that's when you'll roll your power and everything. But you you are still spending one MP to do that. Yep. So I that's am doing your that. that's your minor action. And I'm now. taking a shot at the white. All right. And I'm guessing I click on the dice beside the total ac uh, the accuracy of my weapon. Yep. And now I have to roll evasion. Yeah. Actually, look. <laughs> Actually, let me let me make sure I, I that I have what is needed.
Yep, I'm four. Even with Sacred Weapon and the additional accuracy that he would have gotten from that, it's still a miss. Yeah, I was trying... I was... I was double checking to see if there was some de if there was some detail I overlooked. And I think in this I think in this case no. Let's... Just let me see. <laughs> there's o there's always the there's always the awkward bits when you're when you're deal when you're dealing with the first run. Nope. No, the first casualty is always the is always the battle plan. So yeah, that's a that is a miss. So that's that. Unfortunately, is going to be it for your turn, Isabel. Garu, you're up. You're up. Okay. Uh, try and see. I'm just trying to figure out what, which ones would count as minor, and which ones which would count as major major actions. If it do if it doesn't have that little blue box, those are mi those are um, minor actions. Plus, oh, I think I'm just going to do a punch. All right, who's who's the target? This guy right here. All right. So ro roll accuracy. All right. So now and I will roll evasion. That is a t that is a tie. And uh, and unfortunately t unfortunately in Sword World ties do not go to the attack go to the attacker. Yep, they go to the the defender. Right, so that's a miss. Oh. Arya, you're up. All right. Attacking the white Oh, that's bad. Rolls are shit these days. You're right, that is bad. So, Azrael, you are up next. Alright, that's for me. I hold up one of my arms. And you see his, his little red gem right on his on his palm. 
and you see electricity start to gather around. Next thing you know, a little bolt of electricity just shoots out towards the head of one of the uh, zom zombies. We'll take this one right here as I cast Spark. All right, and... I do kind. I do kind of wish that there was a there was a spot so I could put in spell details on the sheet, but unfortunately, no. No, but I got the wiki up. Uh, <laughs> dealing <laughs> power zero plus magic power. All right. Um, roll on the power zero table. All right, let me go you over there. Probably be. What's it? This one. Nope, never mind, that's not... Oh, I get it. No? Ugh. This, right. part's, this new part's new to me. You know that table at the bo at the bottom of page two? Yeah, I, I got the table. I just, like, when I click it, it asks for extra damage, but I guess there is none in this one. So. Um, In this case, extra damage would be your magic power. I gotta find that. It's the circle in the middle of the second page. Mm -hmm. Ah, so it'd be, ah, so be six. And now I need the crit value. For Spark, I believe it's ten, looking at the yep. page. Yep, ten. Yep. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. You rolled a seven, so you deal eight damage. And, and Alicia, you are up. Uh, hold on, I still, uh, hold on. I still got a, I still got a minor action, don't I? Yeah, mm -hmm. you do. You do. Um, because I still, I have a couple. I can use one of my stratagems. Mm -hmm. And which one are you gonna go with? All the one I have is finding flaws. So basically, I'm just going to point to the zombie and go, if there's one thing, if there's one thing I've learned about zombies, always go for the head. And I'll target that at, uh, I'll give that to Arya. So Arya will get plus one extra damage for detected weak points. Cool. Actually, no. I think that's just the enemy that gets that, so... Yeah, everyone else gets, everyone else gets plus one extra damage for attacking the head. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. And I'll form the head. No, you won't. <laughs> All right. Now, do I have to do my major first, then my minor, or can I do my minor first? Doesn't matter. All right, so I'm going, as my minor action, I'm going to use Wing Flyer. And I can target one character within 10 meters. Well, this is the oh, matter, matter here. So. I'm actually going to cast it over on Garu. Well, it's, <laughs> it's range area one. So, yeah, you can reach over to the front line, I'm sure. It can. If you had range area two, you could reach the enemy back line, and if it had range er uh, a range area of zero, it would only be able to stay in our back line. Yeah, range area. It's range area one. Yeah, so it can reach the front line. You're you're good. Okay. So, uh, Garu, for the duration of the effect, you can fly through the air. Movement speed is the same as that on the ground. Plus, you gain plus one bonus to all accuracy checks for melee attacks and all evasion checks made against melee attacks. Ooh, thank you. You're welcome, but it is only for good for one round. And mm. that's the start of the next round for him, right? Or for me? Uh, for you. Okay. So you've got that until my next turn. As for my major action, I'm gonna use Wolf's Bite. 
and I'm gonna need someone how to, I, I'm gonna need somebody to walk me through how to use the uh, table. Um, so first of all, um, you need to you just need to roll two D to determine um what damage you're going to be doing. Yeah, uh, basically, uh, on the second page, the very bottom, you'll see the power table. This 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 uh this spell doesn't use a power. It doesn't use oh. a power table. It, it, it deals oh. damage based directly on what your 2d roll uh, all right so just is. roll 2d6 then yeah six seven so six okay. is uh, sharp claws rip through the target's flesh but only cause shallow wounds this attack deals magic power points as physical damage and so what's your magic power uh MP is 24. Not MP, magic oh, power. Oh, six. Okay, so you're dealing so, six damage. Which one's getting targeted? Uh, I'm going for the white. All right. So that's six damage on the white. And do remember to account to account for MP expenditure. All, Already all pulling up the calculator. Using. Yeah, yeah, I just realized that too. Oh my God. Um. Uh, so, Daxter, you are up. Okay. Uh, where the heck am I? You're in the back row. Three. Right. Right. We're not worried about yeah. movement. So just take a minor. If you have a minor action, you take it and and, and or take a major. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm trying to find all of my actions here on the on the character sheet, but I don't uh, see. Any... You're not gonna find them on your character sheet. You got to pull them up on the wiki. Oh, there's okay. also that character builds document that I ha that I whipped together, which just so you guys have it. Oh. All right. Let's see. All right, there we go. <clears throat> uh, I think what I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast Firebolt on this what, guy what, here. Well, what for? elements did he choose at the end of the session zero because i know you prompted him to choose four elements monk mm -hmm. i chose water water slash ice wind dark and earth so you can't firebolt sounds like it's from the fire list of spells you don't have access to those right now mm -hmm. oh i was oh, i was looking through the doc document that's why okay. yeah it's listing all of the element all of the elements because you because you can change because um just because you picked those four when we did character creation doesn't mean that's the four that you're gonna have every time ah yeah. uh, fair, fair enough at the at the beginning of any day like at the dawn of any next day you can change the four elements you have access to mm -hmm. you also have access to your basic um spells at any time uh, okay i i would recommend opening up um the wiki uh, sw25.wiki.com and then I already have it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then open the fairy magic spells and choose one from the list of spells you do have access to. Yeah. Yep, and uh, I already got one. And I'd ar I'd already put the ones that he has access to in that character builds um document. Mhm. Mm so I say I guess I'll go with a uh, ice bolt instead. And my target will be this guy right here. So I need to roll a 2d6 for that one. All right. Um, actually, you said you'll ice bolt. You ice said ice uses, bolt. uses the power table. Oh, use the power table. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, I say I use ice wait. bolt. Yeah, let me. Um, 
You don't have access to Ice Bolt. Is he not a level 3 Fairy Tamer? No, he's only level 2. Okay. Oh, shit. Yep, you're right. So, what can I do here? You've got all the rank 2 spells of the four elements you currently have access to, so... Mm -hmm. and, of, and, of course, true speech magic. Again, in, in um, gen... In... In gen, in gen discussion on the ser on the server, there's that um, link to the character builds. Yeah, I already have that up. He's uh, yeah, he's level uh level one sorcerer. True speak spells are blunt weapon, energy bolt, light, and lock. So you also have access to those. Then how about an er how about an energy bolt then? All right. Oh, this guy. <clears throat> so you're gonna roll power ten on the powers uh, the the uh, power table on the second page of the character sheet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it. Okay. And then gonna ask you for your magic power magic power which is I believe for you is uh, it's your, your highest magic power is gonna be five but you're casting a sorcerer so does he have to use sorcerer's magic power yeah Okay, All right. so so it's four. Uh, that 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 was a. Uh... Oh, I was supposed to put it on the thing. Okay. Yeah, you're supposed to click the die on ten. It'll ask you for your magic power as extra, da or it'll ask you for extra damage. Which so I just put. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I got yep. it. And then it'll ask you for your crit range, which it is ten. Yep. Eight damage. No, he wrote. He wrote. Yep, eight damage. So which <laughs> one is getting targeted? Uh, this guy. All right. All right. Oh. Uh, Monk, I'd like to note that you didn't put in his current HP and MP when you finished his uh, his character sheet. I think it's I think I think that's a quirk of the set of the setup because if I have because I can't link it directly to HP on the sheet due to a pro due to a program quirk. So I had to put it in manually and get. I guess it didn't update. No. No. It, um, no. It did. His HP is 18. One of the boxes is empty, is what I'm saying. Oh. If you're to what on the on the mini, the red the red one, that's empty because there's nothing I have to put it in. No, uh, I'll take a screenshot and show you what I'm saying. Because I'm looking at his character sheet. And I can see everybody else's uh, max and uh, max and current, but his is just his maxes. Uh, 
hang on a moment. It's a... When I look at Alicia's, I can see both the max and the uh, the current. Mm -hmm. So it's only on his sheet that I don't see it. Yeah. So let me... Okay, that is odd. Because it's right in front. Because it's right in front of me. When you open your um, character sheet on the second page, uh, and you look at HP and MP, is w are both boxes filled or only one? Uh, From... Coops. Mm -hmm. uh, which boxes? HP and MP. HP and MP. Uh, yeah, both HP and MP are filled. On both boxes? Because they have two sets of boxes. Uh, I see it only on one box, like on the very bottom bef above the power table. Yeah, you should see one box that has the corners kind of colored in and then another box that's just a box. Yeah, I only see the ones... The only ones that have numbers on are the ones that's like colored in. Yeah, so his only his maxes are showing. Um, I'll go that ahead. That and... is, unfortunately, there's no, there's um. I have I have no idea why that's the case. Same here. I don't even know how his um his token had HP and MP at that point since it's supposed to be pulling from this. Well, the well on the token I put that in manually, but so his token isn't connected to his character sheet properly. There's n it. There's some quirks with the sheet on roll twenty. Okay. All right. Well, I've uh, I've put in the currents for him: eighteen HP and twenty-three MP because he spent five for energy bolt. Yep. All right. <clears throat> That's interesting. So now it, it now it's the end now it's the enemy's action. And first the first the zombies are going to attack. The first one is is going to be attacking um, Arya with the claw. So roll evasion. Right, so that's go. That is going to hit ten damage minus your defense. Right, now for the sec. Now for the second one. And that's going. The second one's going to attack Garu, so Garu roll evasion. That's a miss. <laughs> so I, he swipes. The zombie swipes down, and Garu just sidesteps. And the white is going to try and hit our. Try and hit um, Arya. All right, and <sighs> that is seven. That is seven damage. And because. And for the last zombie, they're going to be attacking um, Garu. So. Let me get that. 
That's 12 versus 8. So you're... You take 10 damage minus your defense. Uh, okay. Defense, defense. I got no defense. Then you're taking 10. Lovely. So now we're back at the top. Isabeau, it is your it is your turn. Neff? Yes. It's your turn. Turn. Again? Yeah, we all we just did the enemy turn. Alrighty then, let's let's try. Hmm. Ah, uh, well, might as well try uh, the uh, solid bullet again. All right. And this time, let's go with uh, the second zombie from the left. All right. I, be I believe factoring in um, um, sacred weapon, that's a 10? Or is it 11? It's a 10. Yeah. Alright. That's a tie. And a miss. Mm -hmm. Alright. Garu, you are up. Okay. Uh, where's that sheet? So, remind me again. Uh, made with the ones with blue boxes. Those are major or minor? Minor. Minor. minor? I'm going to do start with gazelle feet. I'm looking at my sheet right now. Mm -hmm. All right, that's three. M that's three MP. So you're getting plus one to evasion for the next three rounds. Yep. So how do I add, add that modifier? Um. I just want I want it on my sheet for the time being, so I know it. Um, there is, there isn't really a way to do it from here. Okay. Wait. Yeah, I can, I can write it in there, but that, but that's, uh, that's the only spot that I can do it. Fair enough. And what was the enhancement that... Uh, Alicia gave me. That was just Sorry. In, in that case, you should actually have plus two evasion. <laughs> but since and keep in mind, since you have um chain, since you have chain attack, when you hit, you can do a second hit. Oh yeah. But you get a, a plus one bonus to your all your accuracy checks for melee attacks and all evasion checks mm -hmm. until the end of my next turn. Okay. Then I'm going to... I'm going to use Iron Boxers. All right. Uh, and we're going to go back to this bugger. All right. Roll it. Alright, that's a 10. Wait, 
Did I need this? Let's see, what what was the accuracy bonus? Plus one. Yeah, I didn't right, put one, the plus one. One from that and Right, so still technically a miss because that's a tie. Yeah. Right. Why the hell do these things have such high evasion stats? They're zombies. I got this straight from the sh from the I, sheet. I know it doesn't make sense for zombies to have evasion three. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's all the salt water. Yeah, well, the salt water is about to be their undoing. I am a uh, I am tired of getting hit by shit right now. Um, I'm going to cast Lightning, which is a line spell, which means it's going to hit all of the enemies in the same field as me, and if there were any enemies in the backfield, it would hit them in a line as well. Uh, so I'm casting Lightning, <laughs> which is power 20 plus magic power, uh, magic damage to targets. It's a line. Mm -hmm. uh, gonna hurt. <laughs> I am trying to fry these things because they are pissing me the fuck off. It's must be doing it the why. <laughs> I'm guessing you shifted into nightmare form. No, I don't need to for this. Because this doesn't have an accuracy. This just casts in a line. Mm -hmm. All right. Extra damage is seven, because that's my magic power. Crit value of ten. Twelve damage to all of the all of the creatures in front of me. Because it's a line. I love line spells. Which, I mean, for I simplified combat, that means all of them. Yes. I read up on the line spells for a reason. I'm like, this is a line spell. How do line spells work in simplified combat? It's like, oh, they just hit everything in the field that you're in and the field uh, in front of it. So, like, if I was in the backfield, it hit, and there were anybody in the, in the backfield, it would hit the backfield and the the front line, but since I'm in the front line, if there were any enemies in the backfield, they'd also have gotten hit. Mm -hmm. Hooray. Thank you, Lightning. And I get... And then I still have a minor move left. Do I have any minor actions that would be useful at this time? I don't think I do, but I will check. You know. Just to make absolutely sure. I... I, just I just realized, are we still my, counting uh, my, uh, my finding flaws? My finding flaws? Because that's an extra one plus damage. one damage. Oh, that's true. So, one yes. more damage to everything. On the zombies. On the zombies, that's true. On the zombies. Because <clears throat> he didn't point out any flaws on the white, so... Yet. But that could happen soon. <laughs> Quite soon. <laughs> anyway. I'd like to take this time to note that if anybody has monster knowledge, this this is as a proficiency, this is a good time to utilize it. Alright. Do you Can want I me to roll? It? Is monster knowledge a major action or a minor action? Um minor. Oh, well then I'll roll it. Alright, let's see. Zambies. Well, you know that you know that there's you know that there's zombies, but for Garu, oh, and I am dropping the tie, the ties go to the defender thing because that's creating problems. Oh. Um. House rules for the win. Yep. At least for the time you... being. You know, you know that HP recovery deals damage instead with zo with zombies, because you ro you rolled well enough to get their weak point. Not that any of us are priests, so it matters. Uh, but does that include potions? But why would you spend something that you would like that? That is a supremely uh, limited resource. There. But uh, Arya is tired. First one zombie managed to smack her, and then the white managed to smack her, and she's just fed up. 
this is not how she imagined traipsing through this boat would go. So, raising her sword on high, small sparkles of static electricity start to gather around it, growing ever larger and brighter before she just waves the sword down and out of, the, out of this chopping motion, a giant wave of lightning comes out and just spreads through these monsters. Mm. Luckily, they're, uh, wa they're salty waterlogged bodies and, uh, well, the white's magical. It kind, of, uh, it kind of attracts magic to itself anyway. They're all natural lightning rods. Gotta love it. Gotta mm. love it. So, Azral, you are up next. All right. Well, seeing as some seeing guys, some my guys, guys, our, our guys are getting hurt up front, I think I'm going to do a little, do a little help, here. help here. Because I just happen to have something that will help with that. I'm going to... Uh, oh, it looks like my allies need a little help. Well, I'll be glad to... I am not, I am not so greedy as to not be able to assist when needed. I point my hand over at, over at Garu. All of a sudden, the, the gem starts to glow green. And a, and a and a a glowing green mi uh, mist sprays out as I cast Earth Heal. All right, so that roll on roll on power zero. Um, yep. when it asks for crit when it asks for crit value, um, just put just put in um zero. Mm -hmm. It has no crit value. <laughs> you get 10 HP back. Wow, rolled an 11 and... Yeah, that's nice. All the HP lost, you just got back. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. And I will, and I will reactivate my... Uh, <laughs> I will reactivate my finding flaws. Keep that going. Keep that so going. So remember, again, remember, remember, keep going for the head. Chop them off. Chop right. them off. So you've got two edge. He's just gonna edge until he finally blows his load. <laughs> Bloody edge lords. <laughs> right. who, who, who's the edge lord? I'm sorry. I was, I was distracted by a fur piece. So, Alicia, you are up next. Alrighty. Alicia's not a. Uh liking how the tide is turning for those up in the front either. Or, well, damage-wise at least. So she is going to uh, re-up Wing Flyer on Garu as her mm -hmm. minor. But she's also going to use Bad Steam. And uh, that is a range area of one. And I'm going to be targeting these guys. Oh, it's uh, just the one character, so... Mm -hmm. Alright, it'll just affect the white then. The target is bombarded with unpleasant vapors from the spirit of the steam pod. This results in a minus one penalty to accuracy and evasion checks. So... Thank you. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Uh, damage? Nay? Or is it just, a, a, just an effect? It's, it's just an effect. There's no damage on that spell. Yeah, it's just going to last 18 rounds. Yep, you're welcome. <laughs> it's, it's just, <laughs> just going to last until we've killed it. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yep. So, Daxter, you are up. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Another six. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna use poison poison needle on this this guy over here. All right. All right. And I believe 
I believe poison needle is one of your evoca one of your evocations. Correct. Yes, it is. All right. So, and that's up that's up against the white. Yeah. So it is, it is poison. It is poisoned. So it, so it's. It is dealing um, one damage per turn for a B rank mm. material card. Yep. Well, is you, so make sure to get rid of one of your gr one of your um, green cards. One of my green cards. Yep. Sorry, you're gonna have to leave the U.S. So wait. Oh, no, I was going to say, Neff, so you're willing to sponsor him while up in Canada? No, he can't come here either. I have to he go back to Haven him. City. You, you don't want to come up here, trust me. <laughs> yeah, he's from Atlanta. He's not used to the cold. Sir! <laughs> he's not wrong. No, no, no. Atlantans get some measure of cold. We Floridians, we don't. Yeah, by cold, you... Yeah, yeah, cold. Yeah, you call it cold, uh, we call it warm, and it's minus 40. Yep. <laughs> but, rails. Um, now it's... The, we'll pick this up during break. Now it's the zombies' turn, and the first one is going to try, try and get at Arya with the claws. Now, with their high evasion, are you sure we shouldn't be calling them zombies? Oh. Roll, ev roll evasion. Give me zoomy. That is 12 damage. Ow. Monk, you rolled evasion, not damage. Ha! <laughs> Whoops. Why is this a thing? <laughs> Comedy. No, it's not. It's not funny. The rolls I have gotten consistently have been under eight this entire time. The dice gods show no mercy? No. Oh, man. This is absolutely a roll 20 thing because this isn't dice. Their stupid background thing has always been shit. Luckily, Excuse I've at least got some defense. Excuses. Excuses. All right. So now for the second one, and that's going to hit. That's going to go against um, Garo. Garu. Garu. So eight. Roll evasion. Plus one. So that's thirteen. So that's a that's a miss. Let's see the Plus white. Two, technically. Mm -hmm. The white is going to go up against Garu. Alright, that's 12. I get some minus 1. 11. Plus Garo gets plus at 12. 2. Yep, so that's another miss. And now for the last zombie, who is going to be targeting Garu. That's a miss. Mm-hmm. All right, Isabeau, you are up. All right, since obviously I can't be shooting things uh, that are moving that easily. Uh, Arya, congratulations, you're getting a healing bullet. Fun. I accept that, which means you don't have to even make an accuracy check. And... That is uh, three plus uh, magic power, which is eight. So, 11. I like not dying. Thank you. Oh, Mike. sorry, sorry. Not, uh, sorry, 3 plus 5. Oh. So, 8. So, 19. Still. Yep. I like not dying. Thank you, Neff. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, Garu, you are up. I can hit that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Uh, I'm looking at my feet. Yeah. 
Euh... We're going for a throw. I'm gonna throw this guy. All right. Specifically, trying to throw him into this guy. Um, Not like, I know that's... it won't do anything, anything damage wise, but it's yeah. Static. It's All for right. aesthetics. All right. It's for the memes too. And that's a miss. So ro so hit damage. Damage, damage, damage. Nice. That's a total of nine damage, and because of chain attack, you can use another wrestling attack. Ooh. Uh, let's do. Go with the iron boxers. All right. The same person, or does it have to be the same person, or can I cho cho choose another? You can choose another. Going for this one. Iron Boxers, here we go! Ooh. Ooh. Minus one. So, so that's, that's a... Dam yep. Roll damage. Mm-hmm. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, I mean, he still gets the 50 experience, though, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the house always wins. Shmevin damage to the wet. So seven factoring. A uh, factoring sacred weapon would be plus two more physical damage, so nine. <clears throat> Remember to add plus two more damage on the zombie hit as well. Yeah, because yeah, of the uh... sacred weapon. Yep. And, Done. And add, actually add one more because don't forget my uh, finding flaws. Mm -hmm. Only on the zombies, though. Yep. Done and done. Oh. Uh, done and dunner. Yep. So Arya, you are up next. All right. Let me let me see if I want to cast one more spell, or if I want to just go in sword swinging. Um. Alrighty, I could do that, but that I think would be there's no kill like overkill, but <laughs> I think I want something a little less Yeah. Yeah, I think I think first I'm going to roll Monster Knowledge at the white mm -hmm. as a minor. Hey, I finally got something over goddamn eight and, uh, or no, no, that's still six on the 2D. Fuck it. Alright, so that, that is unfortunately not high enough for, it's high enough to know it's a white. Not high enough to know weak point. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let me check something quick. Okay, um... Hmm. So I've got a plus one of accuracy from Sacred Weapon. Um... I think that's the only accuracy modifier I have, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and mana strike the white. All right. 
Alrighty then. Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> you guys can get rolls higher than eight. I can't. See, the game just hates me, Monk. And what me specifically. Fuck? This is Monk rolling my dice for I me. Know. I know. Oh, Lord. Insert dice gods joke right or comment right here. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely roll. This is definitely roll twenty on its um on its um on its bullshit. Shit. But wait, don't I get accuracy enhancements from being fighter? You should. Okay, so here's the thing. Roll when I roll on total accuracy under the weapon name and notes, it only rolls base two D. But I have a base accuracy from two levels in fighter and my dex mod of four. I should have been rolling four higher on literally every accuracy roll for physical attacks. Uh, yeah. It's because, <sighs> because of the particulars of the of the cla of the class part. You'd, th you'd think I wouldn't need to put that in, but appa apparently, apparently we I... have to. It's so, fucking stupid. Again. You know uh, again, he said. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know, you know what? Fine. No, roll damage. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm gonna roll damage. But, oh. You're at least get plus plus magic power in damage plus um two physical damage from so I have seven in magic power so the fifteen plus two more from 17. uh yeah seven seventeen total damage to the white. So <laughs> how do you want to do Ar this? Okay, Arya is tired. Arya is pissed. Tired and pissed make Arya a grumpy nightmare. Her horns are glowing a little brighter than usual, and her eyes are also glowing a little brighter than usual because she's angry. I fought so many of you back in Terrassier, and this place thinks it's gonna get the best of me? Never. Raising the sword above her head, she's just like, take the moonlight with you and cleaves the white right in half as she moves through it. You know the uh, the old overhead katana slash through the enemy, monk. It's a falchion, but it's the same thing. All right, and dead. So Azrael, you are up. I believe your edge count is at, it would be at three, but you've hit the cap. Oh my, oh, my edge cap is two? Well, shit. There goes my, uh... There goes my foresight. Actually... No, his edge cap should be three. No, you're, you're right. It is at three. Is that right? We but, talked about um, this during character creation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. His, his cap is at three. It's just that it's not something that I can... That is going to be shown... Due to how due to how things Don't work. Don't you love how half that. of our half of our uh, our class based um, resources just aren't on the sheet? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. well, the only problem is is that the, the, the foresight only works on me, and I'm in the back line, so I can't really use it. I just now realize the problem with this uh, particular uh, maneuver. I mean, you could always move to the front line if you wanted to. I could, but I'm doing better in the back. Especially since I'm more of a conjurer. Now, if I had my, uh, if I was able to summon a golem, I could. I could use that, but uh, I don't have a golem. And it takes an hour to be to summon one of those damn things. So instead, I'm just going to have to do what I've been doing. I'm going to fire another spark. And, uh... 
the, le the less of these guys we have, the better. So I'm gonna target this motherfucker right here with a spark. All right. Let's uh. Zero. Extra six. Six. Ten. Yeah, bubba. Yeah, bubba. <laughs> it's dead, Jim. It's dead. Yep. It is. De it is dead and charred. Dead. And again. another one bites the dust. And another one down. And another one down. All right, Alicia, you are up. All right. Uh... Come on, Alicia, hop to it. That was bad. You should feel bad for that. Go fuck don't. yourself, Isabel. <laughs> All right. Uh, gonna use uh, bad bite again. Or wolf spite, excuse me. So roll two d six, and I'm going for. This motherfucker right here. All right. Oh, nice. Eight. You're gonna hit the. You're gonna hit the second level of that. The one that does. Uh... Sharp teeth tear into the target, dealing three plus magic power points of physical damage. So, magic power is six plus three is nine. As the zombie dis is. Eaten by spiritual wolves. I think that's not good for their health. I don't care if they're spirit wolves. Don't worry, they got strong stomachs. Canines are uh, are um, notoriously hardy. You should know. They're also. They're also. <laughs> 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 Point and match. <laughs> I was I was gonna say canines are opportunistic uh, scavengers, so this isn't going to hurt them at all. <laughs> and once again, you know, Garo should know. Yep, that's true. All right, Dax, you're so up. All right. Uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna use snare on on. Uh, I don't know if I could pull this up. Damn it! All these tabs. Yep. I'm gonna be using snare on this guy. The target is rendered prone. Reminds you of something? Yeah. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Zambi is praying. Mm hmm. If only it affected the whole field. Yep. As, as what, as, fa as fairies grab the, grab his legs and pull, and yank, you basically made him do a face plant. <laughs> Yeah, he's ambling forward. It's a prat fall all over again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Flare flops. But all right, was that a minor that... or a major? Major. So I got one minor action left. Okay. Mm. What can I do here? Ah, <laughs> mm. oh, what the heck, I'll cast an energy bolt. Uh, energy bolt is a major action. Oh, that's a major action? Damn. Yep. The only the only uh, minor action spell that True Speech gets is at level 8. Oh, okay. So now it's the now it's the one zombie remaining's turn, and he's still prone. That's because <laughs> I broke his ankles. The ankle. so, <laughs> Made yeah, yeah. like an ankle biter. Isabel, you're up next. Well, since he can't dodge, let's, <laughs> let's give him a uh, solid bullet. <laughs> now watch he rolls. 
I would laugh. I would. I would laugh my ass off if we rolled snake eyes. No, I did not. I know, but I would have laughed my ass off. Oh. I think he's dead. And yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Yeah. And I was I was gonna say pl plus four to accuracy because your target because pro because prone so he is dead. <laughs> well, and just, stay and, down. I mean, you just rolled normal damage from your rifle there. You, you didn't even roll the damage from your solid bullet, which is power twenty plus magic power damage. You make a good point. So let's see if there's no kill like overkill. Go for it. <laughs> You're a bad influence, Zan. No, he's not. I'm the Most best the influence. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not denying that. It's just some people would disagree. They can disagree uh, all they want. This is the U.S. They're 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 allowed to be free to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, there is no kill like overkill. By the gods. But there. now it now it is time for for deter, for determining loot. And for each of for each of these um Coops, you're going to want you're going to want to pay attention cuz because um uh, because this is wh this is where Normally, there would be the case of choosing between whether or not you get the loot item or or a or a card. I am not. I am not doing that. It's a case of both when it when it applies. Okay. So I'm gonna need one of you to volunteer to roll two d sixes for me. I'll do it. All right. First roll. Eight. That's an eight. So that. It so you managed to recover two zo zombie eyes, <laughs> which is 30 G and Coops, give yourself a B, a B grade red card. Okay. You, give yourself two of them. Red card, red card. You get a red card. Two red cards. All right. Roll again. Seven. All right, same second verse, same as the first. Two more yeah. Zambi eyes. Two more Zambi eyes. He gets two. He gets two cards. Yep. Roll again. Two. That's I got whiff. snake eyes. Yep. That, that that should give her the fifty XP, right? Any. Yeah. A any crit fail is the 50 XP. Woohoo! Right. Except XP. if you're crit failing after getting a critical. As far as the white, you automatically recover a white claw. No. <laughs> Damn it! Is it raspberry thirsty. flavored and can it be penetrated by bullets? So, oops, give yourself one more. That's Brendan. One more B type um, red card. So that's five in total. Um, roll 2d6 one more time. Seven. And that's all you get. All right, five red cards. I can deal with that. Mm -hmm. And... As you... S so... As you are able to explore the captain's quarters, I want you to make a what make a um, search check. Anybody search who wishes to check. Uh, is that going to so be under is... observation? Yep. Okay. I can try. <laughs> Roll toilets, <laughs> Reddit. <laughs> And you do note you do notice that the, that within the cabin there's a trap door. Oh, guys, over here! You're muted. 
I am not muted. You were. I swear to you, I wasn't. Uh, thankfully, we could hear through John. <laughs> I mean, which kind of actually adds to the effect, but nonetheless. Yep. <laughs> so, as the tra the door is on the the trap door is unfortunate is not trapped. There's no booby trap on it, but it is locked. Hold everyone, stand back. I can take care of this. Garu sees this wide, with wide, uh, anime wide eyes and just takes a large step back. I, so, I right. see that and I also go, um, yeah, yeah, do whatever you have to do. Just uh, don't kill me. Uh, I'm going to step out for a second so <laughs> I don't hear this. And uh, I uh, cast a knucker bomb, which specifically destroys locks. All right. So after after the after the brief boom, which is nowhere near as lo as loud as as loud as um, some people would think, because we're on a damaged ship in the middle of the ocean. I don't care if we're in a reef. Mm -hmm. But into the chamber. Yeah, I just had to. I just had to move the ah. thing on. So. Arya is going to remain in the captain's cabin because what if things come up behind us? Mm -hmm. Alicia so. is going to stay with her. Into the secret cha <clears throat> chamber. It's a small room with a lot of jewelry, and the height from the floor to the ceiling is only a is only about a meter. Crap! That means Alicia has to go in. Mm -hmm. Shit. She grumbles oh. under her breath the entire time. One second. So, how good's the uh thing for it? Where is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, Arya's whole thing is we were we we came into this room. It was full of monsters that are undead, including a white, which is technically an immaterial undead. And if there are more immaterial undead, she doesn't want to be caught unaware. All right. So Alicia is down. There's lots of jewelry. Uh, observation again, or intelligence? Yep. Observation. Fourteen. As you descend down the ladder, you do notice a bit of a mechanism that you managed to avoid, which is a good thing because that because you could tell if you had jumped straight down you would have triggered a poison gas trap ha <laughs> shit oh but roll but you you but as you go in there you see that this is basically the captain's treasure room um but go but um roll observation once again 14. So you do you manage to find you manage to find a few trinkets that stand out a piece of a piece of jewelry which is going to have which is which is going to um be qu be quite valuable when you when you get when you get to port mm -hmm. um as well as as well as a ring that looks like it ha that looks like it has the image of Har of Harula on it. Into the pouch. Or not not Harula, um Cien. Into the pouch. Mm -hmm. Um roll uh, roll observation. 17. <laughs> So you know that this is a ring of the moon goddess. Nice. And that it, and that it has one particular effect that I'm going to be putting this in um DMs in the Well not D not DM'd, but clo DM. but close enough.
Mostly because I don't like using the whisper thing in roll 20. Gotcha. And if I did use it to you, it, it'd be kind of redundant. Exactly. But... Huh. With with that, you exit the secret chamber and you head you head back to the cabin. Found some nifty trinkets. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is where we're going to that is where we are going to take five. Alrighty, guys, you heard the man. Time to get some drinks. Time to get some snackage, and we will see you back at a quarter after. So, toodaloo.
And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think we're missing a monk. Yeah, we, we might be we missing a monk. I it's got back monk. just as you hit zero. Uh, you should not be missing a monk. <laughs> you say that. With our rules today, though, I think we would. <laughs> But I'm assuming you guys are head you guys are heading back to the center. Um center deck. Are you gonna be going down into the hatch? Well we're, we're, we're here to search for I mean like we're here to search for materials to repair the ship for one, and then also find a way out of this hell this forsaken hellhole of the sea, so gotta keep and going. We heard somebody, so mm -hmm. Well, we heard somebody and it was it turned out to be a statue of a goddess. Who told us somebody was below deck? That's true. So, heading down as you heading down, you end end up in the middle warehouse, and this is where things get tricky because you're either gonna need a torch or dark vision. We all hey! have torches. Um, you gave us the adventures pack for free, monk. Yep, and I'm I believe some of you already have dark vision. I'm gonna I use so. outside. That we do. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure I do, Pretty sure I do too. Yay, outside! Because it's not like this is just dimly lit. No, it's black. But the room <laughs> is stacked is stacked with crates and sacks, and it stinks, as you'd expect a cargo ship laying out in sea for a long time would stink. The now the sacks are piled up along the front, 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 and port and starboard walls. Some of them have collapsed and are scattered all over the place. You do see mm. a door on the wall at the at the rear. In the but it, and at the center of the floor is a hatch for loading and unloading cargo. The same one is on is on the ceiling. Um, the boxes and sacks mainly contain food, but they're all rotten. Of course it's, they are. Clear that this, it's clear that this is not a recent shipwreck. So you said there was a door near near the uh, bow of the ship, the front of the ship. There's one in both directions, or you can go further down. Arya. Arya looks around at everybody. I don't know about you, but a shipwreck is a shipwreck because it took on water. I don't think going further down is safe. Yes, that, yes, that does make sense. I have to be careful. Let's search the supplies here, see if there's anything our ship can use. So, you're going to the... F to the... Um, to eight or six? Let's do six, since for all we know, since it's closer to the back and most likely it'll be less wet. Mm -hmm. Let's look at six. Yeah. All right. So you head towards six, and it's a door, right? It is a do it is a door. <laughs> it's a ah, shit. On the plus side, instead, in there is just one death sword. Oh fuck that! <laughs> who atta who attacks you immediately? Who attacks immediately? So roll initiative. Yay! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <clears throat> I'm not on the screen. No, I am. I... Okay. That's fun. That's fine. Whatever. 
That's three nines in a row. <laughs> All right. So... so what you're saying is it's nine, nine, nine. <laughs> <laughs> I am not in the mood to be participating in any nonary games whatsoever. <laughs> but the nonary I games are great. So what's the uh, enemy's initiative there, Monk? Oh. Um, you don't it's roll. That. You don't roll initiative for enemies. No, we're asking, no, we're asking if we beat their initiative like we did last time. Well, yeah. it's attacking first though, so. And no. for whatever reason, your initiatives didn't uh, didn't update. So. Yeah, they did. I'm yeah, gonna they did. Yes, they did. Thirteen, um, twelve, nine, 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 eight. Oh, now it. Hmm. Sorry, delay. So. This means Azrael, you're going up first. Your edge is reset. I'm I'm a <laughs> Ooh, robot. What happened there? Can you guys hear me now? Uh, you're still silent, on him, babe. Thank you, Mr. Roboto. But it's Domo Arigato. Not doing it. Too easy. My name is Kilroy. <laughs> All, right, how about now? All right, how about now? Do I sound any better? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, does my MP also get reset or am I stuck with 11 MP? Um, everybody reset. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Is that MP only or all stats? All. Oh, that's right. That was one of the homebrew rules we were doing for this one. After each encounter, you're back at max HP MP. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise we'd probably die. Well, that and I'm not really interested in doing that kind of... D that kind of survival horror dungeon crawl shit. This isn't... I'm not doing fantasy fucking Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why we appreciate you, Monk. Hi. Thank you. Now, as far as the death sword, it is basically a cursed sword that is puppeteering a corpse. Okay, okay Frostmourne. Yeah. I mean, that. technically... Technically... Technically, he wasn't dead until you killed him at the end of Wrath of the Lich King. So. All right. In this case, um. First, I'm gonna go ahead and use my finding flaws. I want to get. I want to see if I can get my uh thing up. Filibuster. Filibuster. Okay. So finding flaws. Yep. The sword, the sword is the weakest in the back. Uh, near, the, uh, near the hilt. I suggest we strike there. Get the, okay. Get the court. And then from there, then from there I'll, I'll just do what I've been doing. Fuck you, 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 son of a bitch. Alright. You no, know, if you if you detemper a sword with enough heat, that's actually a good idea. Actually, hold on, let me check something. Actually, you know what? Actually, you know what? That. Scratch that. I okay. haven't rolled it yet. Scratch that. I want to look over at Arya. You know, you have a point. Let's burn this son of a bitch. Oh, God. I hold my arms out. And all of a sudden, you just see flames coming out of the gem. And it points over at Arya, and a red beat, and, a, and those flames just fly over and surround her sword, her, her falchion. Okay. Fire weapon. 18 rounds. When the target makes a melee arranged attack, the weapon used in the attack is treated as a fire type magic weapon, and the physical damage it causes is increased by plus two. So now the damage of my uh 
of my falchion is plus two from sacred weapon and plus two from fire weapon. You can actually call this the Holy Fire Blade. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <clears throat> I appreciate that. I appreciate you, John. <laughs> I am I, 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 I'm not somebody who wants to just always be a fighter. If I can, if I can help, if I can be a support, I won't mind being a support. That's fine. I tried. I, I, I took frontline because we had only one frontline. I, <laughs> I was like a shit. Because I was go. gonna go straight Sork, but uh, you know, need needs must. Uh, so that's your minor and your major, which means that your turn is over. I cannot actually change the turn order list, but I can continue to move things along. Alicia, it's your turn. For my minor, I'm actually going to roll monster knowledge to see if I can give us any extra info. Seventeen. So we will have to wait for Monk to come back to tell us what extra info you've got. Oh God damn it! I don't have any of the books open because <laughs> I'm playing. You know? Where'd he go? Monk. I, I don't know. He told us to filibuster. Oh. <laughs> so. I, I, I feel I have to hit this button now. <laughs> if you it, like, if you guys want to give me a second to try and find the right book, I'm sure it's Barber's Tales. To be honest, mm -hmm. okay, Barber's Tales one twenty four. Okay, Barbosa. Barbarous. Barbarous. Not Barbarossa. Barbarous, um, Barbarossa, these bitches love so so. Why are you like this? Because you love us. <laughs> Isn't that kind of the point? You made are, me like this. Why are you like this? <laughs> you wouldn't have us any other way, you know that. I learned it from you. you know, I haven't taught you shit. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm the oldest one here. <laughs> supplements. Might be world guides, maybe? For Barber's Tales. I wonder why mommy l left us. Uh, no. It's not going to be world guides, so it's probably going to be rule books. Yes, Barber's Tales. Barber's Tales! Ha 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 ha! I can do this. Um, Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> I am attempting to find a. Uh... Oh. There we go. Okay. Um. So, what does it have regarding what you know about the death sword that I'm going to say you know about the death sword uh, is that a death sword will always seek to slay the stronger enemies that it encounters in order to possess the new stronger body um but this this means that it uh it also can be i would say that the weakness there is that it's always seeking out a new stronger body which means it can bite off more than it can chew and also uh that the spirit of is trapped in the sword itself I, I don't know what else I can say, but, you know, succeeding at a check at the target number for Monster Knowledge also gives the, the weakness bonus of, I believe, plus one to accuracy and plus one to damage. Okay. 
All right, so all of us just have to pretend to be the strongest then. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know if that's how it works, but okay. That's hey, your minor use it. So uh, it's probably going after, like, if anything else, it's probably going after Arya. Do you want me cursed or something? I'm just saying, cause you have the most HP. If not you, it's going to be me because the brute. It's like he's trying to curse me to death. What the hell is this? All right. Well, seeing as how I've used my miner and I get a plus one. So I'm going to use Wolf Spite. So slash roll 2d6 plus one. Uh, no, because that plus one is a uh, is for accuracy. And when you're oh. rolling on that spell, that's just rolling to see what the effect is. Gotcha. That is a six, which so only... Do... It's magic power and damage, but in this case, it's magic power plus one. Yep. So magic power plus one is going to be seven. Yep. I can't adjust that, but I'll let's just assume... Type it into the me I'll type it into uh, in there for Monk. Yep. It's a... Uh... You know, it's not too hard to know that we're that this thing has you know 36 health and we just did seven damage, so it's at 29. Yep. All right. All right. So from there, we are on to you, Arya. It is indeed my turn, and I am going to just. I'm not going to deal with this shit anymore. <laughs> I'm going to deal with this shit. First, minor. Hey! Nice. The TN of 10. So I also know that this thing seeks stronger components and know enough to get another plus one to accuracy and uh, plus one to damage. Now here's the problem. I'm going to roll accuracy and Monk is not there to <laughs> roll evasion. <laughs> However, because I have the rule books for Barbarous Tales and I know what the Death Sword's stats are, I can manual roll this shit. Ew. Should we wait for him to come back for that at least? I I don't I don't know. Uh, Monk is saying to filibuster, but you can only filibuster so much before the action stagnates. Fair. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to roll my accuracy. I have uh, plus one from uh, so Sacred Weapon. I have plus one from my monster knowledge. So that's, so that's actually tw It's a 12. Now, these things are bullshit. They are bullshit in the biggest way. <laughs> oh, I did that wrong. Uh, GM roll. I wonder if I can GM roll or not. I'm probably not. I'm not the GM. But let's find out. Yeah, I can't GM roll. It was worth a try to see if it could be as official as possible. But you know what? Jesus Christ. Yeah, they have a plus five to evasion, just so you oh, all know. Shit. Well, I know what I gotta do next round. So, uh... Same. I missed... I definitely missed. All right. Next turn. Garu. Garu. <laughs> um. Let's do. Monk's gonna get back and be like, "Did you guys go through a whole turn without me?" And the answer will <laughs> be like, "Yes." Mm. <laughs> First off, I'm gonna do monster knowledge. Alrighty, let me let me see. Oh yeah, you. That, I'm pretty sure that would pass the target number as well. So, um, and so that means you know the the same things that we do. It seeks out stronger opponents, and you also know its weak point. That I don't know what the weak point actually is, but you know it, so you get the plus one to accuracy and damage. Yeah, and that was my minor. So. I don't think I can f attack it because that would be a minor, right? 
so monster knowledge was a minor. You can't attack as a major. I cannot attack as a major. No, you can attack as a major. Sweet. Eh. Why right. not? I'm going for a punch. Okay. Hold on a second. Uh, okay, so nine, but you're gonna you're gonna have a, a fun time, I'm sure. Hi. How do you have another plus two to your attack? Uh, because we have the initial modifier, the initial plus one because of okay from the goddess, and then we also have monster the monster knowledge bonus. Okay. Bon okay, roll damage. That was a punch. So seven. Okay, you have chain attack. You can do it again if you'd like. Oh yeah. Thirteen. Okay. Apologies for the moment of filibuster. Oh no, this isn't a moment of filibuster, monk. We're already halfway through the, the player turn. <laughs> <laughs> I've been running the game without you. I'm sorry. No worries. Um, okay. So how much to how much total damage should I apply to the death sword? Seven from Azrol and uh, fourteen. A another. Yeah, he did. Oh no, it was it was from Alicia. That's right. Uh, he did something different. Also, you're you're muted again, Kay. Shit, that one. Uh, that time I was muted. Yep. And then from uh, Garu, another sixteen damage. No, wait, hold on. Seven. Eight, Eighteen damage. <laughs> you're forgetting the plus one from Sacred Weapon and the plus one from your Monster Knowledge check. That's true. So the death sword, uh, we. we if I remember correctly, target number for monster knowledge is 10 or higher, right, Monk? Um, it, it, target number for monster knowledge varies between monster. Really? Because I couldn't find a target number for monster knowledge on a... Oh! Reputation weakness. I see it there. Well, mm -hmm. all of us got 12 or higher, so we all got the monster, the monster hunter... Uh, the monster knowledge check. Okay, never mind. I found it. We still got it, everybody. It's just, you know, I didn't know that the number was right there. Yeah. I had to open Barbara's Tales to find the numbers. Um. And then, uh. Everybody's just, uh. I'm the only one who's missed my attack so far because it rolled a 16 on its dodge. 2d6 two D plus 5, it got a 5 and a 6. So, um. But Garu's turn is now over. It is Isabeau's turn. So if you want to cycle the turn order and take back over, go ahead. All right. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't the counter for the sword be at 1 for health, HP? No. It was at 36. Uh, Alicia dealt 7. You dealt 18. Also remember, it has a defense of 4. Yeah. Yeah, That's Alicia fair. dealt seven with a with a um three with a, and then with a spell. six. Yeah, I'm, I did the math. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, all right, let's shoot this thing, or at least attempt to shoot it dead. Remember, you've got a plus one to to accuracy from sacred weapon. Yeah. So. It's a it's a tie, so you hit because we're getting rid of the dumb rule. That sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, roll damage. <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say we did some damage. Oh, oh shit! How, holy shit! Hold on, hold on. Oh. I've got a I've got a question there. Oh. How did you? How did you get twenty six damage? Okay, power level twenty. Power level twenty. Rolling an eight only gives six damage. Plus, and then I'm guessing because solid bullet would then add magic power, but his magic power is is five, so that's eleven. 
and he didn't hit a crit. Why is it rolling 26 damage for you? I have no idea. Um, what did you Good. put in as far... You... I'm re-rolling that. Well, so, uh, let me... what's your... Remind me, magic power? Magic five. power, yeah, five. Magic power, five. Crit value, ten. Okay, that that's the exact same roll, and that's the correct damage right there. So, question for you, uh... What were you putting in extra damage, um, Neff, when you I were just asked? Put the, I just put the five in for the uh, magic power. Weird. Very weird. It's still, 11 damage is huge. I mean, mm -hmm. let's be honest here. That's my, that's seven damage total, factoring in defense. Yeah, it's Dexter's turn. Yep. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use an air. Just throw an energy bolt at it. Okay. Right. So okay. energy bolt is a. Once again, is uh, power 10 plus your magic yep. power. Okay. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Did that go through? Uh, no, we haven't gotten the roll yet. Oh, okay. Here it is. Okay. Match power of four. Good value ten. Five damage. Five, five damage. Which factoring in defense? That is one. Mm-hmm. No mass. Shit. And now it's the death sword's turn. And it, is doing? it is going to try and take a swing at Garu. Since Garu hit it twice for massive fucking damage. Damn. Okay. 15, so... 15 damage. Ouch! Oof. That's right. what it calls revenge. <sighs> That's definitely a vengeful hit. <laughs> Alright. Azrael, you're up next. All right. Well, once again, I'm going to keep uh, casting uh, Fine Weakness. God, we've been forgetting that this entire time. <laughs> Shit. Oh, well. And also, since I saw that devastating hit that Gar just took. Oh, now we can't have that now, can we? Earth Heal. How much do I get back? He has to roll it. Take eight back. Take eight back. Take uh, gain eight health. Over half the damage you took has been returned as well, not damage. Mm -hmm. I can feel again. Be healed. All right. Now can someone fix my clothes? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I don't think any of us are seamstresses here. Yeah, I'll mend it up later. Alicia, you are up next. While well, she's nibbling on a carrot. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Doc? Yeah, but rabbits don't generally eat carrots. Neff, not now. Bad, Neff, bad. Alright. Yeah, but you like uh... it. Gross. Alright, uh... Excuse me. All right. So first things first, I'm going to use bad steam, 
And as we remember from the last time, it is... Uh, Accuracy and invasion minus one to target. Yes. And to Arya, I'm going to use Wing Flyer. Okay. So target gains plus one to all accuracy for melee and evasion checks. <laughs> Cause you're up next. That's also true. Hit the fucker. Uh, hit the fucker. Hit oh, the that's fucker. A that's aim a great for the command. hilt. I love that command. That's a great command. Um. All right. Well then, Arya is a. Uh... Arya is once again going to declare Mana Strike. <laughs> Which is going to add magic power to my weapon attack. But, uh, that's only if I hit. That's pretty good. Uh, I've got, also, it's not 12, Monk. It's plus one from, uh, from Secret Weapon, um, and plus one from Winged Flyer, so it's 14. What about I hit? What I about hit. uh John spell? John spell is extra damage, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. 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 So I hit. Um I'm going to modify this just to hold on. Okay, so I'm going to roll the normal damage and then we'll add the magic power and the other extra damages all together cuz I've got one from monster knowledge. I've got one from Winged Flyer. I've got one from Sacred Weapon. A Fire Weapon. Oh, I have Fire Weapon, too. Oh, no, two from Sacred Weapon. Two from Fire Weapon. Uh, and then... <laughs> two more from Weak Point. Two more from... Okay, okay, so... Oh, I thought Weak Point was only one. I'm wrong there, too. Okay. Uh, no, no okay. Weak, weak Point plus two... Actually, Weak Point is magic damage. This is counting as magic damage. Okay, yes, that's right. Okay. So plus... <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, let's do the calculations for a second. 13 plus 2 from weak point, 2 from, two from uh, fire weapon, 2 from, holy, uh, from sacred weapon, 1 from wing flyer, 1 from John. <laughs> oh, and let's not forget 7 from me. So that's... 28. Yes, 28 damage. Um, so, <laughs> so... As, you br as you bring the sword down, the death, the death sword tries to block it, and the sword breaks. The oh, sacred... I told you hitting the bend and the, the end near the hilt was the right idea. And I told you that if we detemper the sword, it'll crumble. Seems we both have good advice on it, man. Indeed. <laughs> ladies, ladies, you're both ugly. <laughs> Wolf boy, don't let don't make me turn you into a eunuch. Women. So the now of course that of course it ends up hit the sword ends up hitting the body, but that doesn't matter. Because with the sword with the sword broken, then the body just falls limp. It wasn't even a zombie. It was just be. It was just a puppet. Mm. But this does this does mean this does mean a couple things. One, um, you obviously get obviously get a rusty sword, a broken rusty sword. Yep. Um, and. I need once again. I need someone to roll two d six for me. I'll do it. Got it. Oh, never mind. Go for it. Two d six. Let's go. First one. Six. Right. Unfortunately, you don't. The only other thing that you get is a is coops. You get. Sorry, not coops. <laughs> Dex. You get um, one black and white B card. Yay! More cards. It's always a nice thing. You gotta believe in the heart of the cards. I mean, he is styled to look like a Yu-Gi-Oh character, so... So... 
so. So, back on the. In addition to that, um, you will be, you guys will be walking out of here with repair materials A. Oh no! Since you were, you were able to find that within the um, storage. Other than that, there's not much of interest. Oh. So, we still haven't you... found the survivor though. So are you guys heading to 8, to the pitch dark cabin? Probably, yeah. I that mean, sounds going, like again, a plan. Once again, going down sounds like a bad idea, because water. But we don't know that. It's, well, no, like, we do, because I pointed out that a, that a beached boat is likely ha to have taken on water, especially one this old. Anyway, you end up walking into a dark cabin... Though you find a trap door on the floor at the back of the room. Other than that, not a whole lot. I'm the rolling observation. The trap door is locked. And you you note that the trap door is lo is locked. <laughs> oh, if some if somebody wants, I'll knock on the trap door. See if All there's right. anyone there. Hello! You don't hear anything. Well, then let's knock it the other way. <laughs> Everyone takes a cartoonishly <laughs> large setback. Exactly. Right. Af after the thing detonates, the lock's blown open, You can and you can head down. That's where you find the shelter. The ship the ship's hold is stacked with several wooden crates, and the lamps on top of the crates illuminate the surroundings. Hmm. Alright, who do we gotta fight here? Mm -hmm. Alright, casting observation yet again. You... You 15. find... You find a... You find a man... You find a man holding... A small child, as he said, as he says, it looks like help has finally arrived. Thing. This is the trade. This is the trading ship Prayer to the Star Goddess from Harms, a city in the continent of of Alfheim, bound for Ale, a city on the con continent of Terastia. Seven days after setting sail from Harms, the ship was attacked by barbarous pirates, and the captain was killed. Shortly afterwards, thanks to a storm, I was able to escape, but the sailors were also killed or seriously wounded in the battle with Barbarus, and the ship was left adrift. After a long period of drifting, everyone on board except for me and, the, and this baby had died. Since the dead had become undead, we took shelter in the hold and waited for help. The baby was given to, was given to a woman who was a passenger, but she died of scurvy some time ago. Since it was entrusted to me, I will take care of it until it grows up. I don't care which continent it is, whether Alfheim or Terriaster. Please take me with you. Hmm. We we can take you with us, but there's a there's a couple of issues. We need to repair our ship. It's on its last legs. We found some things in a hold. I don't know if it's enough. There's some repair materials down down here. I just don't have the Man, I just don't. I just don't have the means to use it. And he, po he points you to a set of repair materials B. That is it. That is in the area. Okay. Uh -huh. He also says. He also says there's some other repair materials in in the equipment storage, but there's an undead. But there's an undead locked in that room. Don't worry. We've already taken care of that. Yeah. We. We destroyed the Death Sword. And looking around, Arya goes, Do you Do you know any way to get out of the sea? We came here and our own captain said that there was something strange about the sky. 
crew members were saying they couldn't re recognize any of the stars. Mm -hmm. A wounded sailor said before he died that the starry sky in this area is not shown on any star charts. Perhaps these waters are a sea of deceiving stars. During the Magitek civilization era, I heard that a country sent a certain Magitek into the air to keep the armies of hostile countries from approaching their country. The Magitek shines like a star at night and is indistinguishable from a star when seen from the sea. This makes it difficult to recognize the constellations at all. The area where, where these star-like Magitek's are still in operation is called the Sea of Deceiving Stars. I'm no expert in the matter, and I can't tell the difference between real stars and fake ones. But I can't help but wonder if someone with detailed knowledge of the constellations would be able to figure it out. Didn't... Hmm. Didn't the ogre-faced man say that he loved to stargaze? He did. I think we got... I think we got an ally. Or at least a solution to our issue. Hmm. I might be able to detect the uh, magispheres, too. There may be a way after all. We should hurry back. This child and this man will be on their last legs if we don't bring them someplace better soon. As you return, as you return back to your back to your ship, back to the ship that you guys have been using this whole time, the Hope. Oh. You meet up with the captain who allows who allows the man, um, Erndrill and the baby to board the ship. And gives them a second in command's quarters for the ch for the child, providing protection. Mm. As for the, you also give the captain the repair materials you found, and he gives you and he gives you all a pouch that ha that has five hundred gammas. Obviously, the rest of the stuff that you found on on the ship belong to belong to you. What uh, that does remind me. What what did we find other than that ring? It was also a necklace. Ring, a necklace, and of course the loot from the from the monsters. Okay. <laughs> oh. But after meeting, after meeting up with with Carlo Brook and explaining the situation to him, he's easily able to figure out the real stars from the fake ones and thus you're able to return to your normal course hmm. however just before you're just before you're about to head home or rather to or rather to your new to your <laughs> to your to your new home do you remember when I said when I said the whole thing of bar of barbarous pirates? Mm. Hey! Yeah. Oh, son of a bitch! How ironic! While we were how ironic while we were doing this, I was listening to sea shanties. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, a drunken sailor? So, they can leave and go. And these these aren't undead. These are bar these are barbarous. Yep. They're flesh, blood, and able to be shot. I mean, if they don't sidestep your shot, though. <laughs> a, a hoodling, a lizardman, and a kobold. Oof. Ah, yes, I see. Japanese kobolds. Japanese kobolds are hot. So, Never once, said they again, weren't? once again, um, are we using, are we using the same, um, the same layout as before, or are we doing a different order? I'm staying, I'd, uh, in the rear. I'm pretty sure this, the same layout as before is a good idea. Yep. Yar. <clears throat> A 
I have a plan. Uh -oh. oh no. Because we're all restored to full now again. Yep. I have a plan. <laughs> Is it time to roll? Yep, time to time to roll initiative. And, roll initiative. And um, Arya, you can you can tell one unique thing about the shield, about the um hoodling who has that big shield. Yeah. It is, it is it looks stronger than a normal hoodling, and that means one thing. Yeah. It's got so it's got something that's boosting it. <laughs> it's got it... more. <laughs> careful it... of that <clears throat> careful of that little one with the shield. It's got something special. What the the squirt over there? Don't underestimate a small co opponent. Otherwise your knees will be taken. So let's see. Okay, that's eleven. Ten. Okay, did anyone beat eleven? Yeah, there's a twelve. Azrol. Alright, which me which means you which means you guys are going first. So let me Sort and for some reason Osral showed up twice. Why? Why? He didn't show up twice for the rest of us. Daxter also showed up twice. Neither of them showed up twice for the rest of us. Same. Yeah. And now, I am now going... I'm off. Yeah, now they're not in the list anymore, Funk. <sighs> God damn it. Insert here crystals. Tech joke here, moving on. <laughs> Which is odd because I'm still seeing them. Not, so I'm not. This is a, this is a this is a roll twenty problem, not a me not a me problem. Yep. <sighs> Push him, boy. So Azrael, you are up. All right then. Well, in that case, well, in that case I'm once again gonna, gonna go ahead and use my flaws. finding flaws. Since we got that shield guy, and that shield looks like it's made of wood, isn't it? Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> uh, what's the range on that spell, honey? Uh, what? Finding uh, what? flaws finding is flaws? the the range on the range on um for finding flaws isn't a spell, and the range for his for his stratagems is yes. Ah, duly <laughs> noted. Yeah. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. I, I actually have an idea of what I'm doing here. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna point to the shield guy and say, "I think I know how to deal with you." And I'm gonna have a sword friend here. Thank you. So while I'm doing that, at the same time, I use my other hand and launch across another fire weapon over an area. All right. I don't have the silver weapon anymore, but I still have some ways to help. Everybody loves a sword on fire. Exactly. exactly. Fire sword. Yes. They're great for making marshmallows. So wait, you're casting fire weapon again? Yeah. Yeah. On me? Yes. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've got a burning desire. <laughs> and he fell into a burning ring of fire. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I just love to heat things up, you know? He fell into rails. Burning... He's fine. <laughs> Alright, so that does it for Azrol. Next so... is Garu. No, next is. Yep. Hang on, let me. Next is Garu. Yeah, let me adjust this so, it... so I'm not getting thrown off. 
And it's still show it's still showing twice. What the hell? It's not showing up on my side. And now it disappeared. Yep. That's cuz I X that's cuz I X out of it. I I am re I am reset I am resetting it, and I'm go and instead I'm going from I'm going from top to bottom. Though I'm skip I'm skipping Osroll for this round because this. Well, he already because... did what he was gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. So, Alicia, you are up. All right. Uh. Wait. It, he's he... just going from the top. He said, "Screw the uh, initiative order." Okay. Because it's being dumb. That's fair. Alright, so... Let's see. I'm gonna go for this guy here. The Rizardman? Yes. And for him, I'm going to use Bad Steam. Once again, minus one to penalty... One, minus one penalty to accuracy and evasion for the next 18 rounds. Mm -hmm. yes. Just like I'm, my sword is on fire for the next 18 <laughs> rounds. Yes. So. And on Garu over here, I'm going to use uh, our favorite little uh, spell there, Wing Flyer. Hey! So you're going to get a plus one to accuracy and evasion. Mm -hmm. And you move like you're flying. Should I start doing flying kicks at them? <laughs> I mean, you could. I I assume you could. <laughs> mm. uh, uh. So, Arya, you are up next. A character. Thank you, everyone, for your support. But uh, my plan has nothing to do with my sword. <clears throat> Everybody, remember, I have a spell that does line, which means it hits the what's in front of me and one range behind it. Yes. And also everything in those ranges. Odin. He got. She gonna shock some bitches. Yeah, yeah. Arya just looks at the shield, looks at the kobold much further back and realizes that thing is going to shoot us from afar. I don't like that. So, you know, Arya's just going to roll power 20 plus magic for some damage. Mm -hmm. Does lightning have a crit value? It does. You know, that makes me happy. I forgot lightning has a crit value. Okay. 13 damage to everything on the field, Monk. Alright, let me... Because line ha has range 2, which means it can hit any field, and it goes two ranges forward from me. Um. Arya, roll monster knowledge. Okay. Okay, you know. Okay, that me that means against the shield hoodling, it's do it's doing an additional two. Okay, and then there's the one from um, John's stratagem. Yep, it's dead. So um, not quite. It's got <laughs> five defense. I know. It's just, it's not gonna like this very much. So that's that's a total of I believe sixteen. Oh, 16. 16 damage, yep, to everything on the field. Minus their soak. Yep. And hang on, I need to move this up because of an overlap. So, minus 11. And as far as the lizard man, he also has a defense of 5. And the kobold? 
Remember, everybody. Gobold has no, um, Gobold's dead. That was my intention the entire time. The Kobold was in the back line. I don't like things in the back line. They make me scared. Is this the old strategy of geek the mage first? Yes! yes. Absolutely! Yeah. Never, never, never underestimate the support, the support in the back. In the back. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. priest, whichever one. Priest, mage, whatever caster's back there needs to fucking die. So, Arya, with a uh, confident smirk on her face, just puts the falchion on her shoulder for a second and goes, you guys messed with the wrong nightmare. It'll be the last nightmare of your life. And smashes the sword down as a long beam of lightning just wipes across the field. Mm -hmm. right, so. She can be quippy, see? Yep. So, Dax, you're up next. <laughs> <sighs> I wanted to kill the back lines, but eh, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Uh, hmm. Okay. I'm gonna use snare on this guy. So the lizard man is not is now dealing with stick dealing with a stink bomb and is broken ankles and is prone. The fairies came and tripped him. Why? Just... Thank you. No one. No. Are you sure those fairies? Because one of them looked like a line like a linebacker just saying, "Give me your ankles." No. 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 <laughs> This, this guy, this what, guy you're won. saying fairies can't be buff? <laughs> no, I'm not saying fairies can't be buff. It's just it's literally the fairy from that one episode of Saber. <laughs> oh. oh, the wrestling fairy. Yes. So, I believe that's so. Um, Garu, you are up next. Okay. Hmm. Let's do... <laughs> Can I do armor piercer against this bud? Armor piercer one. It's in my combat feats. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> I'll do that. And then so where's the critical threshold? Because I'm going to be attacking this bugger with a kick. Critical All right. threshold on a kick. <laughs> uh, in, I'm this, in this case, that's going to be um, nine, 12, isn't it? Oh, it is nine. Yeah. Okay. So. Here we go. Eh, we'll get the plus one. Six. Um. Well, it's also on the ground. It's prone, so there should be a bonus there. I'm rerolling that. Thank you. Also. Um. And yeah, that's a hit. So roll damage. <laughs> five damage. Mm -hmm. And it has five defense. Yep. But chain attack still applies. I feel like doing a Mario. Gonna stomp him? Womp him with it's the butt? It's me, a Mario! <laughs> uh, 
That's another hit. Yep. Because of the plus one. Nine is your th critical threshold. You actually get to roll damage again and add it up. So, 12 Third. damage. Yep. And that's minus seven. What's the defense for that one? It's got five. Mm. So, 12 minus okay. five is seven damage. But I use armor piercer. Doesn't that half the defense? That's right. So, I'm. Um, so. Very what? Nine Three damage? damage. Mm hmm. So it's down to 12. Actually, you should have also uh, gotten three damage on the first hit, too. Mm-hmm. All right. Down to nine. Which me... Which... Now, it is, now Isabeau, it is your turn. All right. Good to uh, aim shot at the uh, hoodling and see if we can actually take him out. All right, that's a 10. An 11 with the additional accuracy mm -hmm. from... Motherfucker. He blocked sure it with a shield. <laughs> uh, he didn't block it with a shield. He stumbled and dropped the shield. Uh, okay. Just for note. Considering the fact that uh, I was using aim shot. If the next minute, if it hits with a success value of three or higher than the defense, then the combined damage is doubled. Yes. Okay. So roll damage. He's dead, <laughs> Jim. Shot through the heart, and you're to blame. Well, it's shot through the heart, and you're to blame, Neff. Well, <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, the way I see it, you fi you fired at the thing. He he do he dodged, ta taunted, and you and you ended up you know going. Did I miss? As the thing ricochets and hits him right in the back of the head. <laughs> 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 Trick shot. Bing. So, and now the lizard man's turn is, is here, and he's gonna use. He is the first thing he's gonna do is get back up. Mm -hmm. And then, did we get to knock him down again? I get knocked down. I get up again. <laughs> he is going to. He's going to try and take a shot at Arya. Of course. Lizard man, you absolute dick. Uh, huh. Alrighty. Let's see, eleven. So, so now to roll damage. 10 minus defense. Yep, 6 damage, so... And now it's back, now it's back to Alicia. <clears throat> Let me see here. I'll be right back. Take your time. Yeah, this mm. dinner's here. I'm trying to see if I have any uh, feats I can use yet.
break. Do you have any art plans for the convention? And All right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to use Monster Knowledge on the Lizard Man. Got a 12. Monk, did you hear that? Yep. Okay, just making sure. So... You know that it is susceptible to earth damage. Okay. I don't have any earth spells yet. Mm. Alright, but that gives me a plus one though, right? If you hit, plus two if you hit whip with an earth spell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have any earth spells right now. So, I'm gonna use Wolf Spite on the fucker. So... Ten! Actually, and I just remembered the that um. That die that you see at the t at the top right of the character sheet, that's just a, you can use that for a standard 2d6 roll. Ha! Oh. <laughs> I was wondering about that when I saw it. I was like, what's that for? Okay. So t but I got a 10. Uh, ten. 10 is 6 plus magic power points of physical damage, so she does a total of 12. So that's 7 damage total. It's nearly dead. All right. Arya, kill that fucker! And Arya, you are up next. <laughs> Rip his head off! I mean, I'm about to. This is uh, this is what we call... Uh, this is the true there's no kill like overkill. Because when you turn a melee attack into a magical spell... Accuracy don't mean shit. Reaping Slash. Which is basically the whole blade beams made out of air pressure thing. Except I'm going to flavor it a little more. Oh my. So first, let's just see how, how much overkill I'm going to get. Because Reaping Slash is power 20 plus magical power magic damage. Oh, let's have a spicy oh meatball. It's the best invisible! Um... This might be as good a time as any to use meta magic accuracy. To spend twice as many, uh, yeah. So remember, roll twice, keep the higher one. Roll twice, keep the higher one, indeed. Will do. That means I'm spending twice as much MP, but this is the end of encounter anyway, so 14 MP ain't gonna mean shit to me. Uh, let's see. Has a crit threshold of 10. So there's the first one, plus uh, plus two from the fire weapon that I still have, so 16. But let's roll again and see which one we get. I'm definitely keeping the first one. <laughs> Looking at this bedraggled and just completely torn up lizard man, lizard blood coming out of all the cracks and... and and cuts across its body, all the stomp marks across it, everything that's uh, that's happened to it. I look at it, shake my head. I told you not to deal with nightmares. And the sword's flames start to puff out a little further and further as she takes the sword to her side and swings a wide horizontal sweep. As the reaping slash comes out, the flames on the sword are dragged with it to take it right at neck level. And as the lizard's, man, lizard man's head flies in the sky, the flames engulf the stumps on both sides 
and when the head comes back down, the wound is perfectly cauterized. It looks like nothing's changed at all. Until the lizard man falls down and his head rolls away. <laughs> and... Bozo, you won't be missed. <laughs> Rest in piss, Bozo, you won't be missed. So... Yeah. Now time, now time, for, um, Lady K, it, Lady K, prepare the two d six. Doing so. Let's see how many cards I get this time. All right, first roll, seven. Okay, give Coops. You get one. Um, B, you get one B type white. And one, as well as one green, one um, green type, one green type B, and one white type B. So two whites, one green. Yep. Arya is specifically going to go and uh, investigate the body of that little uh, shieldman, the hoodling shieldman, because. Yep. And I'm the one who investigated it. And on investigation of the, of the of that body, um, you fi you find something interesting. It's holding three. It had three sword shards. What the fuck? What? <laughs> three sword shards. Yep. All right. Arya is looking at these shards and going, How did a barbarous like that weakling get these? Just like looking at them. Like, she knows what shards are. Every adventurer knows what shards are. Mm -hmm. So, Coops, give yourself one more black, one more black, one more white bee. And um, Lady K, roll me, roll two d six again. Ten. All right. And. And and get ready for one more. Okay. Yep. Roll one. Roll one more. Eight. No dice. Damn. But you do find you do find a you do find among among the barbarous a a ring a ring with let with um lyphos's sig um. Insignia on it. Into the pouch. Um. Roll observation on that. All right. Do, 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 do. Ten. And you know that that is a ring of the sun god. Mm. And. There's its effect. In the aftermath, Carlo meets up with you, especially after he sees that ring and says, "That ring might be that ring might be the key, might be the key to undoing my my curse." I w I am will I'm willing to buy I'm willing to buy it off of you for for its usual price. Five thousand gamel. Holy shit! And a no, and a non-saleable first-class ticket to for any passenger ship. Basic, basically the t basically the um t the ticket that I use. That is a mighty fine deal. It I is. understand why you want me so desperate for it as well. What say you? 
this time I don't see much need for us to have it. If it would do him some good, I don't see any reason to keep it. <laughs> so he, oh. he... Alicia turns over to uh, our cursed friend there and holds up the ring. There you go, buddy. He immediately uses it on himself, and you can you you can see that he they no longer needs the bandages because he's able to get his old his old body back. His face no longer looks like that of an ogre. Thank you. Now I can go back to my parents' house. If you need anything, please come to me. I will surely help you. After a few days, you do f you do finally arrive at. Adam Harves, with which the cap after which after all the unpacking, the captain says to you, "Despite all that happened, we managed to arrive safely. I thank all of you for your hard work." And let's So, he he ends up he ends up offer he ends up giving you eight hundred get eight hundred gambles each. Uh, it's actually closer to eight thirty three. Well, no, the the captain is paying oh, us eight hundred gambles each. Um, I know that you were calculating the five thousand gambles. That's eight thirty three each, and then you'd get the extra coin over. Um, uh, I am actually. In for this, we are get it's a, it's going to be a case of adding it all together because ah now as you as you head as the first thing that you the first thing that you will do now that you're in is head straight to the adventurers guild. It's, I'd imagine especially you, Arya, because of what you got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be heading to the to the Adventurers Guild as soon as effing possible. Mm -hmm. And it's a and it's a good call to do to do that because you got because sword shards. Sword, sword shards for those unaware are very valuable within cities because they're one of the things that help power the barriers that keep barbarous out of the major cities. There's also the fact that it is, that they are called sword shards because they are shards of the third sword. Yep, the sword Cardia when it was shattered during the God War. Mm -hmm. So that means all of you are. So for that, since it's three sword shards, um, Arya, roll three d six. Okay, give me a second. Let's see if it fucks us one last time. It does! Yay! Roll again. You drinks it. Do you want me to roll? Yeah, it's. I think someone else should roll, Monk. <laughs> you saw it just the rolls continually got worse there. I got gotcha. you. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I think it just hates you, Zan. <laughs> So all of you gain fourteen reputation. Well, where's that? It's Where's right page? under your character uh, image on your sheet. Okay. Fourteen. Mm-hmm. And everybody got about around sixteen hundred gamel altogether. Not quite. Oh. oh. So, you guys, re you guys, ready for the total amount of amount of gamel you have before it gets divided between all of you? I'm sure. listening. Okay. One twenty. Ten. Thirty. Two hundred all together. Five thousand. Five thousand again. <laughs> Five hundred. 
and 4,800 from the ca from the captain for as a reward for oh sur for helping them survive across the ocean. Wait, shit! I miss. I, I screwed up somewhere. No crap. He's he's tallying it up. Don't worry. Fifteen thousand six hundred and sixty to be distributed evenly among all of you. All right, you said fifteen thousand six hundred sixty. Yep. Divided by six. Two thousand six hundred ten. Yep. So that's how much gamble all of you have after after this after this adventure. Well, added that's to nice what we already had. Mm -hmm. Added to any we had left over, since most of us only bought major items. Instead of buying mini Shie, like a... Uh, like no, a I did. Well, I know. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have anything left, it looked like. Yeah, like I was said, pretty much poor. Most people... I, I The only the extra thing I bought was a survival coat, so I still had 600 camel left over. I had 300 left over, but I got a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Which I will oh. technically say that I got while we were here in town. Mm -hmm. Well, well, nice. i.e., you got it before you went, before you headed off for the boat. But after after selling off some of the some of the loot, especially the especially some of the stuff you got from um the monsters, like monster parts, that's the kind of thing that say that's a alchemist would pay a heavy price for. Hmm. So that's where you ended up going was to Loot. the to the Alchemist Guild to pay to pay that kind of stuff off. Loot, loot items. All right. Mm. Wait, wait. Question, Monk. How is Sage is supposed supposed to affect loot rolls again? Um. It do, it um doesn't. Oh no, that was a scout that affects the loot rolls, isn't it? Scout can scout can. Um, but for the purpose of this, and just to get things get things moving along, I did a straight D. I did a straight um, two D six. Okay. Um. But yeah, everybody, everybody gets gets a, gets that amount in gambles. So just in ca just in case you guys didn't put it, for some of you who didn't put it in, I'm going to make no make. Yep. Twenty six oh. ten. That's a yep. that's a nice chunk of gambles. And as you, as you all get as you all get sit get um situated in the it within the within this new place, you have the ship the um ship closes its doors and it's very clear now. No going back. So, wel welcome to the land of curses and blessings. Welcome to the continent of Alfheim. And that is where we are going to call it. Yep. Woo! This is a. Uh, I'll let everybody know now. Uh, this is one of the two types of supplement books called a scenario. Scenarios are short, little, self-contained stories, usually a one-shot. Sometimes they go a little longer. Um, there are also campaign books in Sword World, and we may eventually hit one of those. Mm -hmm. Eventually. There were there were a few modifiers here and there, but the but the gist is what you've what you've seen here. Yep. So we will be we will be back here next week as we continue as the adventures continue and everyone gets to see what so what sort of new what sort of new shenanigans can happen in this land um quick question monk i know we're doing mostly milestone leveling mm -hmm. what sort of if any leveling do you think we be getting at the end of this particular adventure that is a good question. Let me. Unfortunately, I have I have that handy little primer where I did, where I went into that. So, uh, 
You have two. You have two choices: one level in a one level in a major and a minor, or two levels in minors. All right, that's going to be fun to choose. Mm -hmm. And just for posterity's sake, since some people do do their character advancement a bit late, let me put that in there for you for. For record's sake. Yep, I just but wanted to make sure we. One, uh, oh, there is that one thing that it, that is going to be taken care of, and that it that is growth. So, um, I'm going to be so. What I, so what I want each of you to so I, so from top to bottom, I'm going to have each of you roll to roll two d six. And that's and you're gonna pick one result from that from those two, and that's gonna determine what gets growth. All right. So, so... Alicia, you're first. All right. So one d six twice. There's the two d there's the two d six icon at that top that I mentioned. Well, before. you said. Yeah, roll but you'll choose one of the two dice that are oh, in, the, in the dice roll. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Roll two, pick one. Oh my god, it's gonna make me. Oh god, it's making me uh, choose my uh, input value. I'm just gonna roll. I'm just gonna type this one out. R two d six. That's what I'm doing. So you have a choice between three or one. I'm gonna go with three. All well, right. So you're going to so what the number chooses is which stat is getting growth. Mm -hmm. If you look at your first sheet under the growth column, you'll see that each box is is marked by a die face. I've so only three got would would be growing one... your strength, and one would be growing your dexterity. Uh, I'll go Dex then, cause it. All right. Hmm. So, Arya, you're up next. Yes, sir. Six and four. You know, I'll take six. I need more MP. <laughs> Actually, it's not MP, is it? That, that, that one's for uh, for uh, other things, isn't it? No, I was right. I need more MP. All right. Ah, oh, Azrael. Vitality goes up by one. Oh. Need a little more health. Daxter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was well, that one's decided for you. That happens sometimes. All right, Dex right. goes up by one. Um, Garu. Yeah. 2d6? Yes. Go with that 4. He wants more HPs. Yeah, Don't blame him. Fuck, man. <laughs> Sometimes the it dice, happens, bruh. The dice god show no mercy. Amen. 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 Alright, Isabeau. Yes. Might as well take the spirit. The Schmix. We can count all the way to Schmix D5. So that is going to do it for this for this particular episode. We will be back next week. And of of course some. 
while I will be doing a couple interviews tomorrow, I will not be doing Geek Watch because doing Geek Watch and Revolution in the same day is recipes for disaster. <laughs> AKA, it'll be tons and tons of off the rails. I only get I only got away with that whole doing it after a pay per view that one time because we were all because that was a wrestling based topic. Oh yeah. But for the but for the net but for what we've got next, oh, we will be we will be able to explore the fellow rules and for for a good amount of time they're not going to be on a boat it's gonna it's gonna largely be in the Burlight region, which now now that we are dealing with that area. I'm going to move you guys to that map so you can see what the Burlight region looks like. And we're in Harves, oh. right? Yep. Yep. We're in Har we're in Harves, but by the time we come back, you guys will have been you will have been headed up will have um, been go been going between Harves and Ranzale. Hmm. But as you can see, there's a lot of places for adventuring with it within just the Burlite region. I like the name of Kororopoka. Because you just know that that was someone making up a nonsense word in, in Japanese. Mm -hmm. So that that is... So I hope you all en I hope you all enjoyed it. I know I certainly did, even with all even with all of the warts. All the bullshit. Mm -hmm. So until until next time, stay frosty, everybody. <laughs>